Hello, fellow travelers. Hello. It's Neil here. And Kimberly. Oh, you're here too? I and forgot. I <laughs> what a start we have already. I was reading. I was reading. Uh, I'm like, look at who's here. Well, this is Two Travel, Two Travel and Tour, Tour TV. TV. I'm glad you remember that. I know. <laughs> wow. Welcome in, everyone. Let's see who all is in here right from the start today. I see Daniel Fields. Welcome in. Welcome in. Nikita D. Hey, hello, hello to you. Jay Bowen having trouble with his power. And I hope you internet. can stay. Ah, we're going to have to see. I hope you guys are going to be okay. Um, Anne Handley is in here. Fantastic. Hi, Anne. Hi, Anne. I see Danny from Griswold Family Fake is in. Hello, Danny. Hi, Danny. Uh, let's see. Then I see, hey, newcomer here, the MDT Show. Welcome. Welcome. That's great that you're here today with us. Thanks so much for joining. Big shout out to you. And here from the United Kingdom, we have Exploring Stranger Things UK. Hey, glad to have you with us again today. Welcome in. And here from Argentina, MNA Exploring the World. Very waiting for life. Fantastic. Glad to have you guys on board with us today. Welcome in Welcome. and big, big shout out to you. And here is Josh Odom. Hi, Josh. Hey, Josh. Good to have you with us. Uh, and I see, oh, the winner from the drawing from our 1K celebration. That's right. Pam and Rich are in. Welcome in, guys. Fantastic to have you with us. And now, all the way from New Zealand, our own Minister of Demographics, yes. who always <laughs> keeps score of who is here and from what country everyone is from, Malcolm Hogan. Welcome, Malcolm. I'm, I'm glad you could make it here Oh, yeah, today. me too. That's awesome. Susan Morton, Hi, also Susan. a loyal friend of ours, has joined us. Welcome in, welcome in. Hey, and who do I see? Hey, oh, the chat suddenly jumped to me. <laughs> From Poland all the way to Europe and beyond with us are. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome in. I see Emily is in here as Hi, well Emily. today. Welcome in, welcome in. And here's Christine Kayara. Yes, she was welcome, in here the other live stream too. Welcome in. Glad to have you with us once more. That's fantastic. So um, as it turns out, our chat on the stream yard seems to be sometimes a little bit behind. So with this new cell phone I have, we're going to try. We're going to try to keep up this time. So let's have a look here. This seems to be kind of the same thing here. We're doing good. Uh, I think we are. Look, 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 Christine Kayada, what's it from Zambia all the way? Do yes. you remember me? Yes, we do, Christine. Thank As a matter you. of fact, we do. Uh, you were in our live stream, um, let me see here, was it one or two weeks ago? But I do remember having seen you in here before. That's fantastic that you're with us today. I see JJ as Mix Vlog is in here again. Welcome. Oh my goodness, nice to see you again. Welcome in. Shout out to you. Welcome, welcome. Both awesome host, awesome stream. Well, we Thank appreciate you. it. We sure try to make that nice. Hey, who's, look who's here. Just Nikki. Welcome. Hi. In. Yes, we did connect the other day. Um, might have been not too long ago, actually. But yes, welcome, welcome. Malcolm Hogan already with the first update. Right off the bat, we are starting out with people from six different countries. You know, it's saying we only have 15 people in the chat and six countries represented. Yeah, that's amazing. That is really, really amazing. I see Chris Barnett is in. Hey, Chris, how are you Hi, doing? Hi, Chris. Uh, let's see. And just Nikki here is from Los Angeles, California. Nice. Malcolm pointing out that Zambia was represented here in our live stream last week. That is great. So we are off to a great start today, yeah. I think. That's wonderful because we actually have something new for you guys today, which we will start later on. We got many things on the program for today. Yeah, I think um, it's going to be fun. Oh, for sure it is. Hey, I see some more people just stopping in. Journey with the Gingers has joined us. Hey, guys, Hi. how are you? Glad to have you with us today. And remember to put a comment in. If you're in here and you didn't put a comment, we want to welcome you. So, And the only way we can do that to know that you're here is to write a comment, whether to us or to someone else, or just say hi, so that we can give you a shout-out and say hello. Yeah. For those of you who are new to our live stream, though, I'm not seeing too many brand-new faces. 
uh, our live stream is very interactive. That means we have a conversation with you. Uh, we don't like just talking to you, just lecturing you. This is a conversation between us. So between all of said, us, yes, not exactly. me and so <laughs> We want you to participate. We want you to be a part of this. We want to include you. As you can see, we're pointing out comments. That, that's how we roll here. Let's have a look here. Hey, Fernway Taurus is in there. Welcome, Hello. welcome. Um, forgive me if I don't get your country right, but I'm going to guess India. I thought it was India. I'm going to take please a gamble here, know. but please let us know if you are indeed, if I'm correct about that. Or if you're from somewhere else. Like uh, yeah, and, and please feel free to be. <laughs> no, she's not from Ohio. I, I know she's not. That, that's one thing for sure. All right, let's see here. I see some meetings and some greetings being exchanged here. That is great. India. And I was correct. Indeed, India it is. So, Malcolm, there you go. Speaking of Malcolm, I do believe he gave us an update here. So we are starting out with people from the United States of America, New Zealand, Poland, Argentina, Zambia, and England. That is wonderful. Christine Kayata, very happy that we remember. You know what, Christine? We, we do try. try. Uh, we cannot always guarantee we succeed. We're, we're just human beings like everyone else. <laughs> but particularly, the more you start showing up for our live stream, the bigger the chance you get that we remember you. So oh, yeah. we're thrilled to have you with us again today. That's wonderful. All right. Scrolling down a little bit. Uh, m and Exploring the World is saying, wow, six countries already. That's impressive. You are very international. Great. Yeah, we that, try to be. We try to be absolutely. <laughs> and I want to say, I watch some of you, some of your stuff. You guys are amazing. Yes, I absolutely that. love it. Yes. I mean, wonderful, wonderful stuff. And you guys are great. It's so sweet. Love it. Yeah, I I agree with that. Uh, for those of you not yet familiar with M and A exploring the world, uh, Matt and Ariel are some fantastic travelers and editors. They they really, really are. So mm -hmm. uh, make sure you press that red button of their house. Yeah, they have a very good eye for what they're doing. Yeah, absolutely. Malcolm Hogan is saying today's fun facts are on coastlines. First one, Canada has the world's longest... Longest coastline. Period. period. Oh, okay, coastlines, yeah, uh, all right. I, what are you I, doing? I had the sentence reversed somehow, so that was, a gap in my mind, but that wasn't. Well, me and Neil are doing good today, aren't we? I don't know where I am, and he can't read. It's <laughs> <laughs> great. Yeah. This ought to be fun. <laughs> oh, it's going to be. Hey, if you can't have fun because things are going right, you gotta have fun because things are going wrong. It's true. <laughs> it's that simple. Fermi Tara is saying it is fun. I waited for you people to come live. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you so much. We really appreciate that. And by the way, for those of you not uh, yet acquainted with Fernway Taurus, uh, she too has a travel vlog. And she does some really nice videos. So you may want to connect with her. All right. Let's see here. Us and Morris in the house. Hey, Hello, welcome in, welcome. guys. Good seeing you. More fun people. Big shout out. Yes. Oh, for sure. Us, us and Morris are hilarious. Yeah, they do I, great lives I, too. I, I like their sense of humor. It's great. Uh, to Europe and beyond the Tsar saying, Malcolm, you are amazing. Makes me want to travel to every place you visit. Yes. Yeah, Malcolm's great. Even though Malcolm um, has an, doesn't have a channel of his own, he is certainly a very, very experienced traveler. And so, just a nice and, guy. And, and, and great guy. And we always love when he is here to fulfill his role of Minister of Demographics yes. in our live stream. Matt and Ariel saying, thanks so much, guys. We really appreciate your comments. So glad you like our videos. Yes, for sure. Yeah, you're more than welcome. Yeah. Fermi Tower saying, that was very sweet of you. Thank you. Hey, it's all about mutual support, you know. We, we'd like to answer all the love and friendship that we get from everyone else. And we else. like to talk travel, and we like to talk international travel. That means so that's people from all over the world. Yes, exactly. And we like to share culture with everyone. That has been one of our goals right from the start. So, and we would like to just expand from here. It, it's, it's that simple. Yeah, considering we share culture in the house. <laughs> we do share culture in the house, yes. Sometimes it becomes pretty obvious that it isn't only American here. Yes. There's some Dutch going on. Hey, look who's here. All the way from Scotland, Graeme Patterson. Hi. Welcome in. Welcome in. 
Big shout out to you. Glad to have you with us again today. Let's see here. I see some meetings and some greetings. I Hi, see, Nancy Fields. Uh, Nancy Fields is here. Hey, yes, she is. Are you joining me back to Daniel work? Daniel Fields. Welcome She's back in. to work. Oh, she is? Yeah. Yes. So, so are we. Yes. Yeah, we actually started uh, on Monday. So, yes, we are back at work. Luckily, Wednesday is one of our fixed days off, so we can keep doing this live stream. I'm not Jim. No, you're not Jim. Well, Malcolm, what are you saying you're Malcolm Jim? thinks I'm Jim. Oh, probably because the letter J on the keyboard is right next to the letter K. I'm not Jim, Malcolm. <laughs> but you're welcome anyways. That's funny. That's funny. I don't know where I am. You can't read and Malcolm can't type. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the same wave. <laughs> it's contagious, apparently. Let's see here, as I'm more saying, and to travel on tour, you all are awesome too. Hey, thanks so much. We appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, let's see here. Looks like uh, Matt and Ariel from MA Exploring the World is already getting some new friends here. That Don't is use the S word. Yeah. So, guys, for those of you in the house who are creators, we do encourage you to do some networking. Absolutely. Uh, you can say love, you can say yes. dance, you can say dropped off cattle. Just, bring, yeah, <laughs> dropped off cattle, that was the last one, yes. I'm going to bring a cow to your yeah, house. Yes. yes. Would you like a chicken? Yeah, no, the cow, I mean, it's great. <laughs> but, yeah, but the YouTube guys don't like the S word, no. and if they see it a whole lot over yeah. here. Our moderators have been instructed to remove any S word they see, so please simply don't use it and save them the trouble. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Nancy Fields is saying, yes, loving working started Saturday. Clients are so thankful. They just started yeah. in Pennsylvania here. We're going to start getting um, the hair salons back up, and I believe it's going to start on Friday. And there's a lot of strict rules. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. and you have to have appointments and all those kind of things. Yeah. And whenever we are working, we have to wear the face mask as well. So. Yeah. All day long. Yeah. Emily is asking, how was your first day back to work? I hope people were nice to you. Yeah, I was really oh, not yeah. that bad. I mean, yeah. that's one thing. We do like the people we work with. Yeah, for sure. We got some really great colleagues. Uh, Malcolm clarifying that K. <laughs> yes, K beside K. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> no, that was just him showing solidarity of not knowing where we are today. <laughs> Here, Josh Odom. That we were speaking about cows, creator. <laughs> In the cow. Nice, Josh. Nice. I like it. I knew that was going to come up. Hey, newcomer here. Ravsky is in the house. Well, welcome, hello, in. Welcome. welcome in. Please tell us where you're from, Ravsky. We would love to know because we got people in here from all over the world. So, big shout out to you. We have 23 watching. We have 21 watching and 23 likes. So, two people that weren't even here liked us. That, that's fantastic. <laughs> that's great. So now that we are speaking of hashtag creator, sure, go right ahead. If you are a creator, type hashtag creator, and that way you know what houses to check out um, maybe after this live. <laughs> you know what? I had the nicest conversation this week with Rich on the phone, from Pam and Rich. For, okay. Oh, you did? Yeah, that's, yes, yeah, that's right. You because mentioned he, that to they me. won. Yeah. They won the yeah. T-shirt in yeah. our drawing, and I just had the nicest conversation. It was right. really nice to get to know you, Rich. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, I, I remember you. Virtual now dinner party. Hi. Virtual dinner party in the house. Hey, that means we are in for some good food conversations yes. today. That's awesome. We always love food. As long as I don't need to cook. That's important. I, I will eat, I just don't want to cook. We know that. You do? Yes. Well, sometimes I feel I the need that to repeat that just for you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's have a look. Malcolm is saying here, 21 Washington, 23. Yeah, we just went over that. That's right. Uh, let's see. I just want to make sure I don't uh, miss anything. Yeah, Journey with the Gingers. That's probably okay. going to be uh, several oopses today. <laughs> that's just the way it goes sometimes. Uh, let's have a look here. Virtual Dinner Party is saying that he's cooking live tonight. Hey, okay. that's great. That's good to know. Uh, Graham Patterson is a creator. Yes, indeed. From Scotland. That's great. Uh, then Pam and Rich are saying, thanks, and it was a pleasure to talk to you. Hey, that's wonderful. I'm glad you two had a great conversation. We did. That's good. That's good. We were on the phone forever. 
Yeah. <laughs> As and more saying some meetings and greetings to explore Stranger Things UK. Nancy Fields having a little conversation with just Nikki. There you go. Hey, look who's in the house here. John, Hi. It, it's John from Jane and Travels here. Welcome in, John. Good to have you with us again today. That's great. Uh, Rasky is saying, what is that behind you? That's... Rasky is short for Rev Skywalker, LOL, and you already know me. Oh, that is oh, hence the oops that we got. Ah, I see. I'm trying to think here. Uh, memory, memory, memory. Then memory you? loss. <laughs> Anyways, um, about what's behind us, we are going to play that game here shortly because we always do that. Um, so let's see here. I'd like to go over some more comments. Skywalker. Yeah. Rev Skywalker. Skywalker, Skywalker. That's ah, from. I, I that... think here. Maybe someone with a different name. That's not who you are. Yeah, j just tell us. We we, we, we wave the white flag. <laughs> In the meantime, I see Dre and Chan TV. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Hey, happy Wednesday to you and welcome for stop and thanks so much for stopping by. Glad to have you guys with us. Lovely's journey is in the house. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. That is great. Uh, let's see here. Going to pay close attention to the comments here. We're gonna try to. That's for sure. Uh, I see some meetings, some greetings. That is good. Looks like Exploring Stranger Things UK has really made some friends here. Yeah. That's good to see. So let's see. More meetings and greetings. Good, good, good. So what's everyone been up to, really? Are we looking at booking travel already? Or do you want to hold off traveling yet? Well, what? I think we're all thinking about traveling. Well, yeah, of course, we are going to be thinking, of, we are thinking about traveling for sure. But there's a difference between thinking about travel, actually, you know, making concrete plans to travel. Explore Stranger Things UK asking how we're doing. We are doing great. Yeah. Mr. We're always looking forward to these Wednesday afternoons and uh, have, have a good time here. Mr. Joker UK Gaming is here again. Hey, Joker in the house. Hello. How is it going? Always good to see you in here. <laughs> so for those of you not yet familiar with Mr. Joker. He, he doesn't has, sleep. He doesn't sleep. <laughs> and he has a gaming channel. And he loves gaming. So for those of you into gaming, you do want to check him out. And he goes on long voyages to his backyard. <laughs> yes, that's right. I remember him saying that. <laughs> As and more, uh, doing some networking here with Exploring Stranger Things UK. That's great. Journey with the Gingers in response to our question saying, we have three cruises booked and the first one is in October. There you go. Nice. What cruise is that, uh, Journey with the Gingers? Please tell us. Hi, Papa. Papa Mozo in the house. Hey, did, welcome in, welcome in. Did you get your shirt, Papa? Yeah, let us know. I know it shipped out. Ah, there you go. Yeah, so do let us know, please. Um, let's have a look here. Malcolm saying here, went to Oxford on Tuesday, all of 45 minutes away. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. That's big travel nowadays. Yeah, sometimes that, that it's just not that far where you're going. But it doesn't mean there is nothing nice around. Um, I think a lot of people overlook the fact that right around their house, or around where they live, there is a lot to see and to do as well. Uh, let's see here. Rafsky. Ah, no, I remember. Yes. Who? Twin from Galicia. It's Rafael from Visos Travel. Oh! That's right. I should have known that. Ravski. I, I was thinking, did we get someone new from Poland or Ukraine? Or, you know, Ravski kind of sounds like that. But, hey, good to have you here, Rafael. And thanks for the reminder. That was just uh, an error of my memory. Um, and as you mentioned it, yes, you did have this account too. I'm always used to you coming on under Visos Travel, though. And Journey with the Gingers is saying that the cruise they will be going on is the Carnival Sunshine. And it's a girl's trip. And it's just a girl's <laughs> trip. There you go. Nice, nice. So where exactly are you headed then? Please let us know. 
Anthony Simone in the house from Puerto Rico. Welcome in, Anthony. Good Hello. To see you. Good uh, to see you. And look who's here. Amens Maximo. Welcome in the house. I do not remember seeing you in our live stream, but as we have established, my memory is not doing good. And We're Kimberly not cannot a great read. Day. We're not no, in the best shape. I can read. It's Malcolm. No, no it's, you can't read. I, can I don't know read. where I am. You don't Malcolm know where can't you're... type. There you go. <laughs> So anyways, Amount Maximo, please let us know where you are from. Yes, please. Uh, in the meantime, uh, Papa Moses says he is going to have him check the shipments. Okay, very good. We want to make sure you do get Yeah, like I said, I know it's shipped out. That's what they told me. It will take a little time to get to you. Yeah. yeah. Malcolm is saying it's out by the Southern Elves, the place where he was uh, yes. growing. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Hey, look who's in there too. Fisher from Ventures. Hello. Welcome, guys. Good to have you with us today. That's wonderful. Uh, Fisher from Ventures loves to travel. Hint, 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 hint for everyone. <laughs> let's see here. He's scrolling. Yeah, I am scrolling. Well, I don't want to get behind on the chat like happened the other day. Yeah, I we try to keep up, but when we get a lot of people, which we love, we sometimes miss comments. So we apologize if it's we work with you. Okay, why don't you make finish your sentence first? <laughs> Go on, finish your sentence. Hi. I don't know what was I saying. I'm having a day. I'm telling you, I'm having a day. Wow. This is this is going great. Okay, well what was I saying? Maybe so. Oh yeah. If we miss comments, we do apologize. We try to keep up, but when the chat gets really busy, it's very hard to do. And then, yeah. as you can see, I become distracted by bright lights very easily. You so, see ponies. <laughs> I do. That's what we call it. Whenever Kimberly gets distracted randomly like that, we, we say that she's seen ponies. <gasps> my ooh, ponies. My kids started that, like, ooh, <laughs> saying that I do that because I do. The, the ceiling just came down. Yeah, that really sucks, but ooh, is that something yeah, shiny? Yeah, shiny over there. Yeah. Okay, and so, that's how you lose me in crowds too, because I'm like, oh, shiny. Yeah, and in airports. Mm -hmm. There were shoes. We had to catch a plane. It was a sale. We it had was to, boots, actually. We Beautiful had, boots. You and I had to catch a plane, and you get distracted like that. That's unbelievable. Well, it was a sale. Oh boy. Let's see here. Um, let's see. Oh, we got another hint here. But first, Rafa was saying. Watching another life at the same time, so don't want my watch hours to suffer. By the way, drop in your link here. Hey, that's fantastic. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. Um, Amens Maximo is giving hints here, department manager over at Intimate. Amanda, it's Amanda, I'm telling you. Okay, hi. Hey, hey glad to have you with us today. Yeah, we were just talking about that yesterday in passing. Hey, welcome, welcome. Welcome. That's really great. I, I'm, I'm really thrilled to see you in here. That, that's just awesome. Emily is saying, there are no cruises this year for us, but I do believe Spencer told you guys about our yes, trip he did. to Ocean City, Maryland. He did. And you know, that's a excited. good start. Yeah. So let's have a look here. Um, 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 um. Maybe I want to go and scroll the other way. Yeah, that, that's great. Probably, huh? It's okay. We still love you. Well, that's that's good to hear. I'm glad. <laughs> hey, look, new hashtag. Hashtag I see a bonus. <laughs> and look how they spell it. Oh, it's C-S-E-E. -E. Okay. What did you think it said? I totally flipped letters because apparently I don't know where I am and I can't read either. And I saw S-E-A, which would be kind of cute too. <laughs> the man's Maximo saying, really miss you guys. Hey, you know what? It, it is, of course, just Walmart, but it's... As far as co-workers is concerned, yes, we missed that part. That, hands down. Well, we're back. What? We're back at work. Yes, we are. But we're not there today. No, not today because we're off. Yes, and we're doing this. Yeah. Josh Odom, hashtag squirrel. Yeah, bring on the squirrel dumplings. I said more is in the house anyway, so I'm <laughs> sure they're looking forward to that. All right. So let's see here. Any other comments coming in? I want to make sure. Let's check my new phone here. Okay. Oh, great. The chat is already kind of... We're frozen. Frozen on the... Yeah, okay. Never mind. I'm going to put my phone down. Apparently, it doesn't work in conjunction with this. 
Malcolm is saying New Zealand and Australia may open travel between them soon. That's fantastic. At least between the two of you. So my mid-winter August trip may be back on. Oh, I hope you get to go, Malcolm. You know, I don't know if any of our friends from Jamaica are here today, and I'm really hoping we do have some of our friends from Jamaica show up so we can talk to them. Yeah. Um, but I heard, well, what I read was that Jamaica is going to be opening up for tourism this month. That's right. Yeah. So hopefully that is a sign that we are moving in the right direction here. Anthony Simone asking, well, how was work? Yeah, it was not so bad. It was really not so bad. It was nice to see everybody. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. We have some really fantastic co-workers and uh, very supportive. So we're happy about that. Hey, Charlene, Charlene is Hi, in the house. Happy Wednesday, family. How are you? We are fantastic, Charlene. How about yourself? For those of you not yet familiar with Charlene, uh, we actually got acquainted a little while back, and ever since we kind of hit it off and have been visiting each other's live stream since. Fantastic, fantastic woman. So please make sure you do connect with Charlene. Uh, let's see here. MA exploring the world, doing some networking here with Dre and Chen TV. That is great. Fermi Tara saying, can't believe it is 2 a.m. in India and I'm still awake to watch you people. <laughs> well, you know what? Just so you know, we are going to continue with the um, lives, uh, the Night Owl edition. We're going to do them yes. every other Friday at 11.45 yeah. p.m. Eastern Standard Time, United exactly. States. Exactly, yeah. We, uh, so yeah. that way we can encompass the additional um, time zones as well, because yeah. we know a lot of you, it's difficult, and a lot of you really seem to enjoy us doing that late night one. So we're going to try to do it at least twice a month. Yeah, And, and take it from there. Because like I said, we, we are totally doing all of this and putting out content, which we're excited to do. Yes. And we love chatting with you all every week. And we are also now back to working full time. Yeah. And so we have that on top of it. And also, too, keep in mind that I've started now. I am a travel advisor. So if you'd like to book travel with me, you can certainly do that. You can contact me through Facebook. I'd love to help you out. So we do that. I do that as well. So we're all very excited. We have a lot going on. Yes, we do. So let's have a look here at some more comments that came in. Charlene saying, I'm doing great. Good to be here. Hey, awesome, awesome. Malcolm Hogan is adding to that that Greece, Spain, and Macedonia are opening up to visitors very soon, so things are happening. Yeah, I heard it's that too. It's about time. It's really about time. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to be just done with all this that's going on. Emily then saying, I'm excited to go back to work, but I'm nervous for the clients that will be breaking down our gate. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Um, yesterday at... Um at our store now emily also does hair but um i know at our store there were people that, one lady that was shaking on the gates because she saw the hairstylist in there getting each other ready and starting to get the salon ready because i don't know if you know but walmart's do have hair salons at least i don't know if all so of, let, them do let, okay. of them between parentheses let's clear that up we work at walmart both yeah. of us and somebody was shaking on the on the gates and got very mad that they wouldn't let them in. And they're like, well, we are, we're not open yet, and you have to have an appointment right now. And they weren't happy. Yeah, I'm sure. But we are here to talk about happier things. Yes, travel! Uh, Journey with the Gingers, asking a question here. I'm being nosy. How did you two meet? Okay. So, basically... Um, this is a while back, meanwhile. We were looking at, like, 11 years yes. back. That we started playing a game called Perfect World. And uh, Perfect World kind of sort of puts you in the mind of World of Warcraft. But it's it very is, similar. It's its own story and it is more so based on uh, Oriental mythology. Actually, uh, Korean. And me and Kimberly were both individually just trying to play a game and nothing else. Yeah, we're it wasn't about meeting people or anything no, like that. We just wanted to play a game. Uh, at some point, however, oh, you keep climbing in level, basically, and you get to a point where you need to um, start joining other players to get further ahead. Well, so we I'm ended like, up in the same group. Yeah, exactly. He ended up leading the group. I ended up being director of the group. We ended up screaming at each other for over a year. Yeah, that, yeah. and then we realized 
gosh, we're married. Yeah. And then we thought, you know what, we may as well be married for real. Well, actually, we dated for about three years after that, and we were in two. I, I think we were married before we started dating. I think we were, too. <laughs> but we were dating, and we were both in different countries. That's right. And we yeah. made it work. We did. Yeah. And now we have been married for six years. Yep. Working on number seven. Yep. So there you have it. Let's see here. Uh, Raphael, happy to see Charlene. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Oh, boy. I'm getting behind on comments. So let's go through them real quick. Charlene, happy that she caught our live stream. That's awesome. As I'm more saying, yay, Jamaica's opening. We're going on the Oasis of the Seas for Heather and my birthday cruise. And that's one of our ports. Okay. Nice. Nice. Uh, so is that going to be Ocho Rios then, as I'm more? Uh, Voyages and Vacations with Pam and Rich are saying that I know that the Dominican Republic resorts are going to open up next month. Pam was on the webinar the other day. Okay. Yeah, they do travel too. They yeah. do travel as well. Okay, that's good to know. Charlene to Rafael, Rusky Visa, where the heck have you been? <laughs> nice. nice. Uh, looks like m and exploring the world, doing some networking over there. That is great. Uh, Let's see, Daniel Field saying here, we had a midlife crazy crew over last Friday when you had your life. It, it was, was so much fun. And yeah, we got to be a part yes. of a party. <laughs> it yes. was great. Yeah, I heard about that. You saw it. Yeah, I, that's right. I heard about that. I you saw were here. it. And I, yeah, and I was there for it. He doesn't remember he was here. No, I do remember. What are you doing? I'm trying to scroll further down, but I clicked You're on the wrong thing. You're just clicking on things. Well, let me click on things. Anthony Simone, Neil should be travel agent too. No, I should not be, really. I, I just It's just like with food. I don't cook, I eat. And just like with travel, I don't book travel, I go on travel. That, that, that's just how I roll. Uh, let's see here. Give some love to our new TA kin. There you go. Yes. Thank you. TA standing for travel agent. Nice. Uh, let's see here. Jay Bowen has made it in. No power, no internet, but I got in. Yay! How the heck did you do that, Jay? Welcome on board, my friend. Good to have you with us as always. Uh, let's have a look here. Matt and Ariel saying, good to know that many of you can go back to work. Yeah, it, it has been a while, but at this point, it is safe enough. Yeah, to how are things so. there in Argentina? Yeah, please let us know a little bit about the situation in Argentina, guys. Fisher from Venture saying, we are moving to phase two in Florida on Friday. Okay. Now, we have colors in our state. Yeah, they, they have like red, yellow, and green. green. And, we're, and we're moving to green, but it doesn't mean a whole lot. It doesn't no. seem like. I mean, we still wear the face masks. We still have to practice the social distancing. Yeah, exactly. Restaurants are going to be starting, but they can only be at like 50% capacity. Yeah. So, all oh, three shows paranormal. Hey, look at that. Hi! Three Souls Paranormal in the channel. house. Welcome, welcome. All the way from Pittsburgh, which is a whole 45 minutes Woo! away from where we live. Long distance. <laughs> welcome in, guys. Good to have you with us. Yeah, today. they're the ones that voted on our group trip being to Manny Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's right. You really have Kimberly on the floor with that one. Yeah, I, you know, it was one of those things I actually thought about this week and, get, and just laughed. Yeah. Papa Moses saying, may God's richest blessings be on the both of you for putting up with Walmart customers. I shop there and nearly break my eyeballs from all the rolling. <laughs> well, hey, thank you so much, Papa Moses. We really do appreciate that. Malcolm Hogan with an in-between score. The half an hour update. So far, countries that have been represented in our live stream are Argentina. We got England, India, New Zealand, Poland. Puerto Rico, Scotland, USA, it's Zambia, all written in alphabetical <gasps> order to practice my typing. Nice. I like it, Malcolm. I like it. You're getting better and better at this. As and more responding to our question, we asked them. It will not be Ocherias, but Fall Mouth, Jamaica, uh, from December 6 to 13. Nice. Okay. That's great. We always have a great time there in Jamaica. Hey, look who's here. Mrs. Hello. Morrison in the house. Hello, Visa Travels and me. I can't stay long because I'm trying to get my husband's channel up to 700 by midnight. If I do, he will treat me to a shopping spree so <laughs> grinding on the trip. <laughs> hey, can't say I blame you, but fantastic to have you over with us. Please tell us where you're from. And if you have any travel stories to tell, we're looking forward to hearing them. 
Fields or Ryan's or fun folk? Yes, they are, Papa Mo. So, yes, they are. Asa Moore saying they need a few more friends to reach 250. Can't wait. Good for you. For those of you not yet acquainted with us and more, they are awesome. They, they love travel. So if you're not yet connected with them, hint, hint, hint. And Hanley, congratulating you. Thank you, Anne. On your um, certificate. Well, it's not a certification. Not really. What is it? No, I'm just, designation. I'm a, yeah, I'm a travel advisor. Okay. Jay Bowen asking what departments at Walmart we're working in. Well, Kimberly is in security. Well, um, it's kind of security. asset protection. Yes, asset protection. And I am in online grocery. So we put orders together, bring them out to people's cars. That's what we do. Rafael saying a friend, Mrs. Morrison, trying to win a bet. She's coming over. Can yeah, you she was here. Mr. Johnny 25 ling There she will get a shopping spree. There you go. Mr. Johnny 25. Yeah, they wanted to drop the link. I don't I can't do that. Okay, if there's a mod here that can drop Mr. Johnny 25's link, that go would right be ahead. fantastic. Anthony Simone. Great job, congrats, good luck, luck, lots of love, Kim. Thank you. There you go. Then he's saying Oklahoma is pretty much all open. That's good to hear. Wonderful. Yeah, I'm really glad that we are finally moving in the he's right direction again. He's scrolling again. Fisher from Venture saying movie theaters, gyms, bars, and then restaurants can move to 100% capacity. Wow. We're headed in the right direction then. Hey, we got Christine in the house. Welcome in, welcome in. Okay, passports. Passports are very, very, very behind now. Yeah. I mean, I would not schedule anything personally until I have my passport in my hand. Yeah, that would be a wise plan. Um, I mean, you can. Yeah. Other, I don't like to gamble when things like that are concerned. It's too much money. True. So I would hide. I mean, before you could get it. Yeah, a couple of months, you're fine. You're sure. But now everything is so far behind. And I've heard from people, I mean, that it's going to be a very long time until that's all straightened out. So yeah. I would not book anything until I have my passport in my hand. Yeah, I agree with that. Anthony Simone shops at Walmart a lot. Yeah, I bet. Everybody it. does. Everyone does. Papa Mozo is... Minister of Demographics. <laughs> yeah, <asking laughs> Blaine. Malcolm. Yeah. Blaine, Malcolm is that's Minister I mean. of Demographics. That's what I meant. Are you getting names wrong now, too? See, I don't know where I am. It's because I worked at Walmart for two days this week. Jay Bowen saying, too, now, right now, unless it's changed, uh, they are only doing emergency passports. I would do it as far ahead as possible. Yeah, absolutely, Jay, for sure. The NDT show. Hello, hello, guys. Uh, big thumbs up for you both. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. We hope you're enjoying our live stream. Uh, Mrs. Morrison is saying she's from London, UK. Love your energy, guys. Thanks. Hey, that's great. Thank you so much. Yeah, we got several people from the UK. Speaking of which, I haven't seen Sarah and Glenn yet. They no, might, they may pop they in are. later on. Uh, let's have a look here. Cassandra's world is in the house. Hello, guys. I'm in the building. Fantastic to have you with us again, Cassandra. Nice. Good. Where's she from? Where are you from, Cassandra? I'm not a hundred percent sure. Let us know where you're yeah, from. Yeah, let, let us let everyone know again where you're from. But I do remember seeing you in there before. Malcolm Hogan throwing in another nice fun fact: Japan has more coastline than Australia. Really? Wow, that's I impressive. I did not know that. No, I would never have thought that. Anthony Simone, watch out, Neil. Behave, keep in security. Yeah, I know. I got to watch my rear end all the time. Well, right now, all my job really consists of is um, wiping down carts and counting people. Yeah. Let's see what Matt and Ariel have to say here. Well, we still are in strict quarantine in the city of Buenos Aires. Uh, only essential stores are open, and it is getting hard for many people to make ends meet. We really hope to see the end of this soon. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, guys. We really hope that it, things will start improving for you soon. Uh, Mrs. Morrison saying, you guys are lovely. You've gained a friend for life. Hey, that, Thank that's you. awesome. Thank you so much. And we are thrilled to have you with us here. So. Hopefully, we will keep seeing you in there. Uh, let's see here. Uh, oh. I saw somebody new and you went away. Did you? Yes, I did. Christine Kayata is saying, I'm writing down all the names here. I promise to visit each of your channels to see uh, to, to support. This is a great live stream. Thank you so Thank much, you. Christine. We really appreciate that. And I'm sure that everyone uh, you will be visiting is going to be just as appreciative. We, we got really fantastic people in here. 
Malcolm is saying about uh, getting a passport in New Zealand takes less than a week to arrive after applying. Whoa. Even now? Even with all this going on? That is insane. I'm impressed. Hey, look who's in here. Gabriel Tone Guitars. Hey, they're all my boogie woogie friends. Hi. <laughs> Welcome in, Gabriel Tone Guitars. Big shout out to you. Uh, for those of you not yet acquainted with Gabriel Tone's Guitars, uh, this is a musician, guys. And he makes some excellent music. So if you're not yet acquainted with him and you do love some good music, particularly guitar music, he's your guy. Where are you from? Yes, please tell us where you're from. And look who's in there too, Scorpa YT. Welcome Hello. in, Scorpa. Shout out to you. Glad to have you with us today. Journey with the Ginger saying, we truly appreciate our online Walmart shoppers. Really helped us through this time. Thank you both for what you do. Hey, you're more than welcome. Papa Moso has a travel tip for everyone. Chicago is telling passports are four to eight months. Moso always applies at the nine year mark. Yes. That is smart. Yep. Not to let them expire. There you go. Jay Bowen is saying that Michelle was an assistant manager at Walmart for eight years. Too funny all work there. <laughs> yeah. It's a small world. Yeah, you know what? I, I actually, I was a supervisor in the back room for a while back there. Kimberly, uh, you're giving the gremlins room. Hi. And, uh, well, I just got tired with all the BS, decided to step down and move to online grocery, and that was the best decision I have made. And that's the thing, too, is we want to really focus on our channel, yeah. and we want to focus on traveling. Absolutely. And our blogging is very important to us, yeah. and creating. So it is something that we're both so passionate about, yeah. and we wanted to be able to have the time to focus on that. I'll be completely honest. Um, going back to work was really hard in that sense that this is what we want to do. We want to hang out with you guys. We want to travel. Create. We want to make great videos. Uh, that's what we really want to do ultimately. But we are still we, we're sane enough to realize do we're we not at the work? point that we can quit <laughs> our jobs at any time soon. So well, it's not that it's so much that is is about for us quitting jobs. The thing is, is um, we're both certified tour managers. We I book travel, and yeah, we do our work. travel blog. So exactly. it's just that switching that our life revolves more around travel. Yes, it's still working and working very hard. In fact, very hard. Yeah, but just kind of a switch. It is. Scorpa YT saying first time joining you here. Um, I, I think that meant I met you, uh, your, oh, here in your live stream. Okay. Let me know, let us know where you're from. Yeah, please do. It's awesome to have you with us today. That's great. Anthony Simone, have you been on a celebrity cruise? No, but we plan on it, right? Yes. Um, yeah, I want to, I've been really looking, uh, taking a very long look at Princess as well. Um, in fact, I was doing the education for Princess this week and I made, or, over the last couple weeks, I'm Commodore level with that right now. Yay! And um, I really like a lot about theirs too. So definitely coming up, we want to do a celebrity and we want to do a princess. Yeah, for sure. Chris Barnett saying Canada is four times the closest country when it comes to coastline at 202,080 kilometers. Indonesia, 54,716 kilometers. Wow. So if I translate that to miles, you're probably looking at about 130 miles ish, 130,000 miles is what I'm gonna say. In Indonesia, that would probably be, let's see here, 30, probably like 35,000 mile ish, something like that. That's impressive though. And if you keep in mind that the earth is about, um, like 40,000 kilometers in diameter, that means that Canada is five times the circumference of the Earth in coastline. That, that, that's hard to, hard to fathom, very hard to fathom. I see Danny here dropped the Mr. Johnny 25 link, so that should make Mrs. Morrison happy. Thank you very much. Scorpo IT is saying, I felt so welcomed. You guys are amazing, but sadly I found you late. It's late night here, I have to go to sleep. Hey, you know what? We do these every week at 4 p.m. on Wednesday, EST. So please feel free to stop by again, and we will also start doing these every other Friday night at 11.45 p.m. EST, yes, our so night owl edition. Make sure you join our family if you haven't done so already, so Absolutely. you know when, when these are coming. Yeah, for sure. 
might join you tomorrow. Well, we don't have a live stream tomorrow, but where are you from? Yeah, please let us know. Let's see here. Ravsky saying, go to that link only seven away and she gets a shopping tree. Okay, so for those of you not yet acquainted with Mrs. Link. Morrison, yeah, um, please go to that link real quick uh, that uh, Danny from Griswold Family Facade just dropped. Get her to that shopping spree, guys. I see Miss Shanna is in the house. New friend Welcome. here. Welcome in. Big shout out to you. Fantastic to have you with us today. And Scorpio IT says they're from India. Nice. We nice had uh, have you. Tara. She was from yeah. India too. So we had more than one person from India. That's amazing. For, uh, Pam and Rich are saying, Kim, you will love Princess. That's I great. think so too. I think, I think so will I, based on what I have heard. Daniel Field saying that they have a Princess Cruise coming up at uh, 421. Nice. Do That's you like great. Princess Daniel? Have you sailed with him before? Yeah, please let us know what your experiences were. Anthony asking, have you been on a Royal Caribbean cruise? Yes, yes we, we have. have. Yeah. I like Royal Caribbean very much. I like their food. That is something that really stood out to us, the food, um, both in the main dining room and the buffet, as a matter of fact. So uh, we really enjoyed the cruise, was to Bermuda and the Bahamas back then, about four years ago now. And it was an amazing trip, absolutely fantastic. And the service in the dining room was second to none. Pam and Rich saying, Pam sailed the Caribbean princess and is sailing on the new Enchanted Princess in December. Ooh. I bet you she is excited. That has to be awesome. Mrs. Morrison thanking Danny from Griswold Family VK and thank you to the host for allowing the link to drop. I need to win this bet and you are going to win this bet. Lady SS in the house. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hey, good evening to you. Glad to have you on board with us. Please tell us where you're from and if you have any great travel stories to share with us, please do let us know. Okay, we got to start doing it. Yeah, we got to start doing it. Hey, that's great. She loves us even more now. <laughs> All right. So, um, it is tradition we? in our live stream. Okay, you just shortcutted everything I was going to say. But, you know, okay, fair enough. Where are we? So, this is a little something we always do uh, in our live streams. We select a background and have everyone guess where this is. So what do you think? Where, where is this beautiful building? Does anyone know what it is possibly? I'd like to see some guesses here, but let's first get the country. Let's first get the country. Daniel Fields in the meantime saying this will be our second princess cruise. We enjoyed the first one. It was just too short to, so this is at least a seven day. We are doing a uh, California coastal in an aft wraparound balcony Ooh. suite on Royal Princess. Wow. Wow. Yay. You are in for a heck of a trip. That, that seems really awesome, Daniel. Rafael guessing that this was, is Aruba. No, no, it's not Aruba. Pam and Rich are guessing Prague. No, it's no. not Prague. Uh, Malcolm guessing Central America. No, not Central America. Nancy Fields Castle in Russia. No, it's not in Russia. Forever Land RV in the house. Hello, Hello welcome, welcome. welcome in, welcome in. And I see Flamingo Pam is in the house. Hey, how Hi, are you? Pam, it's been wonderful to see you. Yeah, we missed we you. We missed you. But glad to have you on today. Uh, Anthony Simone guessing London. Nope, not London. Flamingo Pam jumping in right away guessing Grand Cayman. Nope, not that. Daniel Fields Stalin in Estonia. Nope, not there. Hey, Pam and Rich are onto something. Germany. Yes, it is in Germany. And Matt and Ariel were close. But Austria, just south of Germany. I'll give a hint. It is not too far away from Austria, all considering. So it is in Germany, but where in Germany? Not too far away from Austria. What places can you think of in Germany that are not too far away from Austria? Malcolm Hogan has to be Europe. Yes, you are correct. You are correct. Nope, it's in Germany. Hey, Gamble and Granny in the house. Welcome Hi. in. Good to have you with us today. I remember seeing you the other day and, and we connected. I remember that actually. This time I remembered. You I remember. remembered something. Woo where are you from? <laughs> let us know where yeah. you're from. Please, please let us know where you're from. And that way everyone else knows. Looks like. 
Pam and Rich and Malcolm Hogan both are having the right answer. Yes, it is in Munich. Very good. But do you know what it is? Yeah, do you know what it Just is? Just by chance. You, yeah. Um, we are going to, of course, tell you if no one knows, but we're just curious what you think. And Gambling Granny is from Springfield, Illinois. Nice. Nice. Welcome. Welcome in. We're glad you could make it. So what we're doing here, Gambling Granny, is that um, we have, you see this background behind us, and we are having everyone guess where it is. And what everyone has established now is that it is in Munich, but we haven't quite established yet what it is. So... If you can think of anything, please do let us know. Down under cruises in the house. Sean well, and Ilana, morning. good morning to you. Yes, it is indeed morning in the Down Under land. So for those of you not yet familiar with the Down Under cruises, very nice people, wonderful channel. They do some excellent live streams. Please make sure you befriend them. Uh, Raphael from Visa Travel saying new town hall. No, it's not a new town hall. Nope, and it's in Germany. It's in Munich. Malcolm saying I've walked through that doorway. Have you? You have. So where is it then, Malcolm? Where is it? Chris Barnett saying to Michana, trying to be, not be bored at home. <laughs> yeah, hey, and this is a good way to go. And the coffee is great down on the cruise set. Hey, Deb, right in the house. Hi. Welcome in, Deb. Good to have you with us again today. Awesome. We're doing great. How about yourself? Nope, it is in Munich, Germany. But what is it, Anthony? What is it? Gambling Granny saying, oh my, I'm not that guessing. <laughs> well, hey, if you cannot guess, Gambling Granny, maybe you should gamble. Yeah. <laughs> what does Raphael say here? Oh, Raphael wins it. It is indeed Nymphenburg Palace. Nymphenburg Palace in Munich, Germany. You are correct, Raphael. Very, very good. That is impressive that you managed to gamble that. Um, Nymphenburg is indeed located in Munich, Germany, and it is an absolutely stunning place to visit, guys. Me and Kimberly visited years ago, and it, it's just the architecture is second to none. Uh, all in the Baroque style, the architecture. Lots of art inside, frescoes. The grounds. the grounds are amazing too on the side to be honest. And there's all different buildings to explore. We did not get to be here enough. No, we spent what, three hours there? And it, it was, was longer than enough. that. And yeah, it was yeah. nowhere near enough. Yeah. I could spend a few days exploring this. Yeah. So for those of you who just stopped in and are wondering what that background behind us is, it is one of the facings of Nymphenburg Palace in Munich, Germany. A wonderful, wonderful place to visit. And it was, I don't remember it being too crowded there. Yeah. There wasn't that many people visiting. Not at that moment. Uh, also, speaking of our background, me and Kimberly plan on uh, doing another video. And hint, 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 the background is a hint what yes. it is going to be about. <laughs> so stay tuned. Christine Cayeta saying, 10 minutes to 11 p.m. here in Zambia. I have to go to bed. Thank you for having me. We'll see you guys next week. Thanks for stopping hey, by. Fantastic to have you with us, Christine. And we're very much looking forward to having you again next week. That bank? No, it's not a bank. No, 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 no. Foreverland RV saying, love the Jamaica all-inclusive. Still five pounds overweight for all the food. Yeah, there is that problem, of course. But as long as you enjoyed it, we'll say. Uh, gambling granny is having a good time about the comment we made. Yep, I can gamble. Well, yeah. hey, there you go. Ravsky is saying, I had a puzzle with that building in it. Ah, so that is how you do. Okay. Oh, that, that's why. Well, then it makes sense. But even though, I mean, you may very well have known it. Uh, let's see here. Matt and Ariel saying, Malcolm Hogan, how is the country count? <laughs> yep, yep. Malcolm, maybe we need an update here. Chris Barnett being goofy here. Are there a lot of nymphs in Nymphenburg? <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist. <laughs> That's it was funny. Fine. That's great. Malcolm uh, responding to the question. He was asked, 10 countries so far. Nice. Foreverland RV asking, when is your next cruise and where to? Well, we have one scheduled for October. And we will be headed on the Carnival Breeze. Uh, and it will take us to Aruba, Bonaire, 
uh, Grand Turk and half Moon Cay in the Bahamas or half Moon Cay, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Yeah. Um, that being said, that means that there are three destinations that we have not been to yet. The only one where we have been out of those four is half Moon Cay in the Bahamas. And that was paradise. Yeah. Just paradise. Oh, we, we love half Moon Cay. You, the, the beaches there are just pristine. White it's sand. It's amazing. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's see here. m and exploring the world. Matt and Ariel are liking the count so far. Yeah, the double digits is a good sign for sure. Raphael saying that Mrs. Morrison's spree is only four away. Okay. So this must happen. For those of you who just stopped in, uh, Mrs. Morrison has a bet going on with her man that if she can make it to, um, what was it, 700? 700 so friends, uh, then she is going to get a free shopping spree. She it will be treated by him to a free shopping spree. She only needs four more friends. So can we make that happen for us? We have had for people her. hit my yeah for 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 them. Well, her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. Just tripped <laughs> over my own tongue. <laughs> what? Yeah, we'll get there, Kimberly. I'm excited. You are so impatient. I'm very impatient. Have patience. I just talked to a wall, didn't I? Yes. As long as I know. Yeah. So anyways, if you are not yet connected uh, with the channel, uh, maybe Danny from Griswold Family, if I can drop it one more time. One more time. Yeah. In the meantime, Chris Barnett, did you hear that we will have the breeze with only 2,400 people in October? No, we did not. You're telling us something new here. No. Wow. So they did eliminate a bunch of rooms. So how they? are they doing that? Which ones got eliminated? Yeah, please tell us. Please tell us. Gambling Granny saying, I'm going to Las Vegas in 22 days. So I'll be having some new things on my channel soon. Have you guys been to Vegas? We love it there. No, we almost went, when was that, a few years ago? And then we decided to do something else, I think. Yes. Oh, that was the time that we ended up doing a very short cruise. Oh, no, we didn't do any cruise. What happened was we had a cruise booked and then there was a hurricane. And we ended up not going on the cruise. And then all of a sudden we were we had time and we had vacation and we couldn't switch our vacation days. Our um, cruise was refunded. And we're like, what are we going to do? And we thought maybe by going to Vegas. But we yeah. ended up, we decided to do the most fun thing we've done. And <laughs> it was so fun. We did a staycation, and yeah. we actually went through our area like we were tourists. Yes. We went to the museum. We, you know, and and we had a great time. We had a great that. time. Yeah. And you know how you always say there's always those restaurants you drive by on your way to work where somebody tells you about, it and they say, and you go, you know what, someday I should, I'm going to eat there. You know, uh, oh, I want to go eat there. Oh, I want to yeah. go eat and there. And then five months later, you're, you're saying the same did. thing, driving past the same restaurant. Well, on that staycation, that's what we did. All those places you say you're going to go and all those places you say you're going to eat, we did. Yeah. And we tried to keep it as local as possible. Yes. And really explore our community and really explore our area. And it was so much fun. And it's another thing, when things start to open up a little bit more, you're going to see some vlogging on because Neil and I decided we want to do that some more to yeah. share that with you. What is exactly in our area? Yeah. Some different restaurants and different museums, Indeed. things like that. So we're going to be sharing that with you too. For sure. Um, we firmly believe that there is many ways in which you can travel. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a cruise. It doesn't necessarily have to be an RV trip or backpacking or just a city trip somewhere. But Looking close by is traveling too. If you drive half an hour and you find something you like, that too is actually traveling. Yeah. So um, we, we have a very broad perspective when it comes to that. In the house is Bob and Tan's Hello. Excellent Adventures. Welcome in, guys. Glad to have you with us from the RV community. I tell you what, those folks from the RV community are always wonderful. They, they, they just, once, once, you, once they are your friends, they really are loyal. That's great. Welcome in, guys. Uh, Foreverland RV asking the date of our cruise. I'm going to look for you, at you for that one. It's end of October. I think it's October 24th through November 1st. And it's on the breeze. Yes. So it's part of the big group trip. Yep. Papa Mozo, your banter is, is fun to observe. <laughs> we appreciate that. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. Pam and Rich saying, wow. I know. Does not get yeah. Yeah, that's true. We're going to lose 
I wonder how that's going to work out. We'll yeah. find out. I'm very curious. Malcolm, with a score so far of countries we have had represented in our live stream today. Argentina, Australia, England, India, New Zealand, Poland, Puerto Rico, Scotland, USA, and Zambia. Yes. Nice. We like to see that list getting longer and longer. Yeah. Nancy Field saying to Gambling Granny that they are going to Vegas on Monday. I'm a Hara 7 star. star. I think. Whoa. That, that sounds... Like some, I don't know what that means, but maybe you can tell us what it means. But it does sound like something. Bob and Tim's excellent adventure saying that Vegas will be open tomorrow. Nice. So we really wow. are headed in the right direction. I tell you what, I hope that soon enough in Argentina it will also start picking back up again. Danny, thank you very much for dropping that. Grace Barnett and saying that uh, Sharon and C said that when people cancel, they stopped taking new people it will be four to fifty percent okay so that's what happened there all right that's that's good to know hey who's in the house here ld wire welcome in welcome, welcome. In. glad to have you with us please tell everyone where you're from and make yourself at home uh let's see I see some meetings and greetings mishana saying that her cruise was cancelled in april ah uh, I hope you will get to go at some point, maybe this year after all, Mishana. Uh, personally, I always prefer to speak in terms of postponing a trip rather than canceling. Because um, if it isn't going to happen at one point, it doesn't mean it is never going to happen. Gambling Granny saying there's so much to do and see in Vegas. I know there gambling. is. I know. But so you know what? Heard. I do want to say something to you too, Gram Gambling Granny. Have you tried a cruise? Because... A lot of people really enjoy the casinos on the cruise ships. Oh, uh, for many people, it's actually reason to go on yeah. cruise ships. And some of them, uh, who was it? Was it Nancy Fields that won a nice amount of money? I don't know, but I know people have won, have um, actually got enough points and things to get free cruises. Yeah, that's true. So you may want to consider that. Anne Handley, you really had to say this, Anne. I love your impatience, Kimberly. It makes it more fun. See, Anne is my people. <laughs> oh, it is now my people and your people, huh? I see how you are. You know, when we came up with the channel name, Two Travel and Tour, I, you know, I thought it was going to be two, and now it is one. Aww. One and one. Aww. That's all right. Rafael saying, we did it, 700. He should join her in a minute. Awesome. That's Woo! fantastic. So that being said, uh, Mrs. Morrison from the United Kingdom here uh, did make it to the milestone and did get her shopping spree now. Woo Wonderful. Awesome. I'm glad for any lady who gets to shop. <laughs> for sure. Deb Wright saying, I stepped out of my comfort zone this morning and booked a 50th anniversary cruise with Carnival. Congratulations! Congrats. That is fantastic. Nice. Well, hey, sometimes you got to do things out of your comfort zone. Sometimes, not always. Nancy Fields is saying that the highest card level for Haras is seven stars. Oh, wow. wow. See, I knew it was something big. Yeah. I knew it. Papa Moso asking, are you staying in Fort Lauderdale um, Saturday night, 1st of November after Breeze Cruise? Several of us are. No, we're not going to stay afterwards. At least that's not the plan now. We're going to stay probably the night before, but we're going to get in very late. We'll get in probably about 10, 30, 11 o'clock. I haven't booked the flight yet, but I will. Um, and we'll probably just be at the hotel late and then see everybody on the cruise ship. Yeah. That's right. Malcolm saying here for a fun fact time, New Zealand has a longer coastline than China. Well, you know what? If I think of the image of a world map, uh, a big part of China is actually landlocked. So in a way, that doesn't surprise me. But nevertheless, it's interesting to know for sure. Mrs. Morrison, all excited. Thank you, everyone. We did it. I'm going shopping. Nice. Very nice. happy for you. Very happy for you. We're glad we could do that for you. I saw the Tyler show. Yeah, we will get there, Kimberly. Listen, do you want to have this mouse? No. Well, then. Down in the cruise is saying, this week restaurants were allowed 20 people. 20 to sit people! Down so, um, down on the cruises, tell us then, does that mean that 
all restaurants have a maximum of 20 people because that doesn't make much sense if you have if you keep the different sizes of restaurants in consideration if you have one that's only like you know maybe 100 square feet and versus like a thousand square feet that makes a big difference so i wonder Mishana saying that they didn't give her a choice to cancel the cruise. Yeah, unfortunately. Gambling Granny saying, we've never been on a cruise. I hate flying two hours to Vegas, let alone a ship in the water. All right, fair enough. Yeah, if you don't like flying, then it might get difficult sometimes. And Handley saying, I think it was people that canceled on their own that lowered the group cruise amount. Okay. Yeah, that, that's, that's what um, Chris Barnett was saying. Yeah. I hope so. But then they don't put anything... But they don't book any people in, in its place. We booked a balcony. Yep. Malcolm is saying, anyone heard of Ash Vegas or Rado Vegas in New Zealand? No, we have not. Please tell us what you it know, is. We just don't know enough about New Zealand. No, we don't. We don't. Kenny Slog in the house. Hey, guys. Hey, welcome in, Kenny Slog. Shout out to you. Please let us Hello. know where you're from. And please do share any travel stories you may have. This is an interactive live stream. We want to hear your stories too. This is not just about our stories. So please do share with us. Mrs. Morrison loves you. There you go. Nancy Field saying, yes, we've got the many cruise vouchers from casinos. Now get free cruises through cruise lines. Yeah, see, I, I knew it. See, my memory had a bright moment again. I know, it's rare. Down on the cruise saying, hoping to get a video out by the end of the week about a place called Ichuka. Am I pronouncing that correctly? In the state of Victoria, Australia. Nice. We'll be anxiously Sounds awaiting. Good. Yeah. Hey, the Tyler show is in the house. Hi, Welcome Tyler. in, Tyler. Good to have you with us this afternoon. And he is saying, hello there, everyone. I know our governor has moved Florida into phase two, and that means all entertainment value venues can open at half capacity. Whoop, whoop. Nice. Another area that is headed in the right direction. I am so glad we're finally starting to get there. I see more people. Yes, we will We will get there. Uh, let's see here. Anthony, Simone, what airline are you flying? Oh, when we go down, I'll probably go on Spirit. Um, the, we, <laughs> everybody, everybody's always thinking, why, does, why do they fly on Spirit? Well, actually, I don't mind Spirit. No. But it is also, um, we have an airport about 15 minutes from our house mm -hmm. that has free parking. And it's a little tiny, tiny airport, and they only offer Spirit flights. But I can get a direct flight on Spirit really cheap with free parking at the airport. Yes. And it's a wonderful experience to go in and out of there rather than going all the way into, well, it's not, the Pittsburgh is so far, but the traffic can be challenging. Yeah. And, um and then you have to pay to park. So I I like going out of our little late trove. Yeah, for sure. Papa Moso giving us his stateroom number. There you go. Good. That way we can find you. Awesome. And look who's in the house too, who has joined us. Germany Travel Personal Guys. Hey, Welcome. Darian, how are you doing, my friend? Fantastic to have you over with us today. So for those of you not yet acquainted with Germany Travel Personal Guide, uh, Darian, the guy who's behind this wonderful channel, he is specializes in Germany. Um, he typically doesn't even ask for anything. He just loves going to Germany if you just want to go with him to Germany. Or you basically. want to talk about Germany. Yeah. Or what so you should see. If you're interested in travel to Germany, he is your guy. Down on the cruise is saying, right now, that is the case regarding restaurants. If we behave, then we they will allow 50 in the next stage. <laughs> well, hopefully you will succeed in that. <laughs> Papa Moso asking for a thumbs up. Thank you so Thank much. You. We appreciate that. Foreverland RV saying, just check those dates. It didn't show. Maybe it's full up. Oh, yeah. Maybe it is. You know what? If you're interested in traveling with us, um, we are going to eventually be doing a group cruise. That, that, that is not something we plan on doing anytime soon. soon but, but eventually. Yeah. And we've decided I think it's going to be probably a cruise. But if you would like to, like I was saying before, I do book travel as well. Yeah. Go ahead and join our um, Facebook group. And I have a new Facebook group you can ask to join. You can look it up. It's two traveling tour trips. So anyone interested in joining us for travel, please join two travel and tour trips. 
There you go. You do have to request to join, and there's a few questions, and then I will approve you. So it's two travel and tour trips. Stop beating the table. You're making the, the screen shake. <laughs> and by the way, I see we have a newcomer here. Well, not a new newcomer, newcomer but you someone who just showed up. Yeah, <laughs> we're glad to have you. Welcome back, Saltwater Born from Key West, Florida. Nice. Malcolm saying um, about those towns, the very small towns, Ashburton and Rodo, Rotorua, one South Island, one North Island. Okay. So that like right off the coast of the uh, New Zealand mainland then, am I getting that right? Uh, Daniel Fields is saying we will be in Pittsburgh next year in early July for a wedding. We'll stay at the Rivers Casino. Oh, well, wow. you will have to come see us. Yeah, yeah. Or Daniel. we'll have to come down the casino and see you. I mean, that's that's forty five minutes from yeah. here. Uh, that's a no brainer. We gotta grab a few we'll beers. We'll get together. Yeah. Oh, you know where I would like to go. You know where it would where? be nice to go where? is Piper's Pub. Piper's Pub is amazing. Yeah, on the the south side. Is south that right? side. Yeah. Yeah, in Pittsburgh. If we can make arrangements, we'll definitely hang out together and go to that pub. It's amazing in there. And the food is amazing. Oh, my God. The food is so good. And why is it amazing? Because from the outside, that restaurant doesn't look like it's much. It's very unassuming. Yep. The Germany travel person, like Darian is saying, you guys are awesome. Thanks so much for the shout out. Hey, you're more than welcome, Darian, as always. We're glad to, that you joined us again today. Raphael saying, okay, here and body and spirit now. Hey, there he is, Raphael from Fiso's Travel. Having done his usual code this time. For those of you not yet acquainted with Visos Travel, fantastic sure travel you are. channel, does live streams as well. Um, lives in Oklahoma with his family, but is originally from Vigo, Spain. And he has a beautiful wife and lovely daughters. Absolutely. Absolutely. I see some meetings and greetings. Anthony, Simone, are you flying in from Pittsburgh Airport? Now, probably Latrobe. Latrobe Airport. Yeah. We live in the Pittsburgh area, Forever Land RV. Just a little outside of the city. Matt and Ariel are saying, yes, we hope things go back to normal soon. We had to cancel a trip to Ushea in Tierra del Fuego, the southernmost city in the world, ah. planned in, for April, hopefully before end of the year it comes through. Nice. Yeah, I, I really hope so too for you guys. That would be fantastic if that at least is still going to be possible for you. And we are very much looking forward to the video you will make of that because we know you will do a great job. It'll be amazing. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Gambling Granny saying, be nice chatting. My work day is done. Chat again soon. Hey, thanks so much for stopping by, Gambling Granny. Glad to have you here. We really appreciate it. Uh, the Tyler Show saying, I also just final shot a brand new vlog from a theme park in Orlando called Fun Spot. And wow, I just edited it after my software crashed and I had to re edit. And oh. now it's my best new work. Hey, sometimes things happen for a reason. Yeah, well, yeah, we can go with that one. Yeah, sure. Um, so, for those of you not yet familiar with the Tyler Show, uh, if you want to see some really, really good editing, Tyler knows how to handle the camera. Hint, hint, hint. Papa Moso then saying, are you friends planning on the SAS group cruise to Bermuda on October 20, in October 21? No, we, we are not actually. No, no, not that one. Nancy Phil saying, yes, we'd love to see you on Pittsburgh. Yeah, that would be, be fun. fun. <laughs> yeah. Here, Nancy's all about making a plan already. Yeah, sure. Hey, we're open for that. Mr. Johnny 25 saying, who do I have to thank for burning a hole in my wallet? <laughs> I bet we know who you belong to. <laughs> well, Johnny, about that. Maybe we're guilty. Just maybe. And don't forget to join our family while you're here. Yeah, absolutely. Welcome. Welcome to our channel here. Um, uh, we are already acquainted with Mrs. Morrison. Yes. So um, fantastic to have you over here. Let's see here. Down on the cruise is saying, road tour a nickname Bad X City. Nice place, but why is it called Bag X City? Malcolm, let them guess. <laughs> because the omelets are really not good there to eat. Hi, Lindsay. Hey, my sister is in the house. Lindsay, hey, welcome, welcome. Longtime supporter right from the start, ever since this channel was born. Thank you so much, my dear sister. Malcolm saying, just noticed 44 likes. Well done, everyone. Nice. Thank you. 
Nice. Oh, don't forget, put the Netherlands on there, Malcolm, because Lindsay's here. That's right. Yeah, Malcolm, add the Netherlands to the list. Baba Moza, Arnold Palmer country. Yes. That's yeah. Right. <laughs> it's funny now that you mentioned it, Baba Moza. As a matter of fact, the Latrobe Airport is officially called the, the Arnold, Arnold Palmer, Palmer Airport. Airport. So that is uh, definitely some yeah big name in, in our area. Rafael, all excited that we burnt a hole in Mr. Johnny 25's wall. <laughs> nice. Foreverland RV saying we have friends that live in Valencia, PA. I've heard of that yeah. place. I can't really put my finger on the map as to where it is, but I have heard of it. Lindsay then saying, what is your next video going to be about? Can we have a hint? Lindsay, look behind us. Maybe you recognize Do you know it. what this is, Lind? I think she might have been there. I I'm not sure, though. Uh, Daniel Field saying, dang, we are on the 2021 October group cruise. Yeah, that, that's good. The more cruises you have booked, the better, right? Nancy Field saying, Papa Mosa will be on the October 2021 Sharon at Sea cruise. Okay. Papa Mosa, Mosa is not guilty or is, lol. <laughs> Never know with Papa Mosa. Hashtag Papa knows. Yeah. <laughs> Down on the cruise is explaining it. It's called the Bad Egg City because of the sulfur pools. Yeah, sulfur smells like bad eggs. I've heard about that, yeah. I see Rich has joined on his own account here. Yeah. That is great. And Rolling Rock Beer. That is our house beer, Rich. That is our house beer in our house, believe it or not. Whenever we get beer, uh, there is a 70% chance <laughs> it's that it's Rolling, rolling Rock. Rock. Yep. Papa Moses says he'd love to golf. Yeah, a lot of people do, yeah. Lindsay asking, is it in Germany, about the background we have? Yes, and I think you're quite familiar with the area, Linz. Yeah, there you go, hashtag Papa knows. Yep, yep, yep. Um, some conversation here between New Zealand and Australia. Nice. Mr. Johnny25 asking, is that St. Petersburg? No, although that's a very good guess. If you look at it, it very well could have been. This is the Nymphenburg Palace in Germany. So uh, it, it's like in Munich. So if you go to Munich, you can visit this. It's very easily, uh, very easy to reach by public transport. And we, we just had a blast visiting this place. We it really was did. Absolutely amazing. And we would definitely go back anytime to see some more because we don't feel we saw everything. Uh, let's see here. For okay. Everland RV saying, we found the travel and tour and to travel and tour community on Facebook. Which do we want to connect? And cruise with you. Okay. Um, you can join the community. would be fine. Or, um, like I said, the two travel and tour trips. Yes. Either one. The community. And I then I can send you. Um, Basically, the community is for, well, everyone, everyone here. Is, is involved that, that, that likes our channel and uh, that do travel videos themselves if they have their own channels and they want to post some things and just want to talk about travel. The two travel and tour trips is more so geared towards um, booking travel with Kimberly. Mm -hmm. Danny, if you're out there, do you think you could drop that link for the two travel and tour trips? Yeah, please. Uh, if you could, that would be great. Papa Moso saying, Deutschland is schön. Germany is beautiful. Yes, you are totally correct about that. <laughs> Down on the cruise has a suggestion. Or in the mall. <laughs> there you go. Richard saying strobe waffle. LOL. Ooh, yes. I love that. So for those of you who do not know what strobe waffles are, they're delicious. They are delicious, yes. They are some sort of um, a cookie with a caramel filling in it. But it's like a waffle. But it's it's a waffle, a very thin waffle. A very thin waffle. It's um okay. It's kind of like a pizzel, but a little chewier. Yeah, something and like that. And then it has probably. stuff in the middle. And it's delicious. Okay. Forever and Darfi is saying they couldn't find trips. Okay, I, I just put it up. Just join the community. Yeah. And you know what, Forever and RV, if you just join the um, Two Travel and Tour community, then um, we can touch base that way and we will redirect you from there to yep. the. Um, to the trip space. Like I said, I just put it up, so that could be the issue. Yeah. All right, I think we have come to a great moment that we can do a little something. So what have we come up with? Well, actually put, uh, yeah, wrote something down. 
So what we're going to do, and everyone can participate in this, it, it, it's, it's not really a trivia thing, but it is like interactive. We want you to mention a country you have not been to, but that you would like to know more about. And everyone who has been to that country is to say something about it using only three words. So basically, we'll take a country first. So we need to know what country yeah. we're going to do. So you, you can just mention any country. So someone mention a country. We'll, we'll give you an example. Someone mention a country you want to know more about. Let's see. In the meantime. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> That is sudden. Yes. Oh, you, you left some really bad gremlins, Kimberly. Now I have to Yay, scooch to the middle here. Oh, that does that is not much better. All right. Let's go about it this way. Hey, my cousin Bjorn is in the house. Welcome, welcome, Bjorn. Good to have you with us today, my friend. Great to have you. Okay. So let's see here. <laughs> Joyce loves, loves soap bubbles. Nice. Okay. No, no worries, Danny. We'll take care of it. Uh, I think this question might be directed at Darian from Germany Travel Personal Guide. Uh, let's have a look here. So, Italy, excellent choice, Deb. So, Deb wants to know more about Italy. Any one of you, because we are in here with roughly 30 people, any one of you who has been to Italy, give Deb here a description in three words only about Italy when it comes to your experiences. So describe your experiences in three words only. I'm very curious what we're going to see. While that is going to be going on, I'm going to go over some comments here. Margaret, hey, welcome in, Margaret. Good to have you with us today. Uh, let's see here. Okay, that is good to know. Let me write that down real quick. What do we need to know? D. Garcia. All right. What do we need to know? We got some developments here. Okay. So, Hi, Bjorn. Bjorn, stop by. Yeah. Okay. So no one can find your trips. Why can't they find it? Don't worry about it. Just connect with the Two Travel and Tour community page, and we're going to redirect everyone from there. Lindsay, would you like to ever go on a world trip? Oh, yes. yeah. Hi, sure. Margaret. So the country, to give you an update, Kimberly, that we chose is here from Deb Wright. She is at Italy. Yeah. So we have asked everyone who has been to Italy to give us a description in three words. Three words about Italy. I'm very curious what we're going to see here. Hi, Margaret. Uh, let's have a look. Raphael is saying food, people, and Rome to describe Italy. There you go. Nice. That is a great example. Malcolm Hogan has three words too. Venice is fantastic. <laughs> I like I like that. I like that a lot. Papa Moso says good wine and opera. There nice. You go. Nice. Foreverland RV is saying food, people, wine. Margaret is saying history, food, and culture. Daniel feels hot in summer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Matt and Ariel from Exploring the World is saying food is amazing, people is passion, and Rome is history. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yes. Those are awesome. I figured this would be fun to do. All right. So that is as far as Italy is concerned. Nice. Let's see if we have another one. He's so um, hungry. Uh, I saw another one too. Uh, here, let's take this one from Papa Moso. Turkey. I've not been let's, to Turkey. No, neither have I. So, anyone who has been to Turkey? Three words. Three words. I'm very curious what we're going to get to Turkey. Let's see here. In the meantime, I'm seeing some more about Italy. Malcolm is saying pizza, pasta, ravioli. Just food for Malcolm. <laughs> nice. Deb right. thank you, everyone. Yeah, see, there you go. That's how we can do this. Hey, newcomer here. GJ Gap K Files, welcome in. Fantastic to have you with us. Big shout out to you. Please tell us where you're from so that everyone knows. And if you uh, are wondering what we are doing here, we are doing a little event whereby we pick a country that, that someone has not been to. And then everyone in the chat can describe that country in three words if they've been there. So please do participate. Malcolm Hogan saying, Eat at Christmas for Turkey. <laughs> That's funny. 
That's funny. <laughs> Raphael, gravy family Thanksgiving. <laughs> there we go. Yep. <laughs> Papa Mosa. Raphael's naughty. LOL. Yep, yep, yep. Not too many people have been to Turkey from what it no. seems like. Let's see. Um, in the meantime, she's from the Philippines, but in Singapore right now. So we have All to right. Singapore. So we have to count it as Singapore. Uh, Malcolm, please Singapore. add Singapore to the list. Margaret, help with this channel chatting on a tablet. <laughs> 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 yeah. Margaret, did, I, did you hear? I don't know. I think she just came in. We were talking about before about the fact that um, you can travel with us if you'd like. I am booking travel now. So, and we're having trouble finding my page that I, or my group that I put up. So, I think you're a member of our community. But if you want to join the other one about traveling with us, just let us know in the community and I'll invite you. Yeah. Lindsay's saying, oh, okay, that will be maybe for the next country. Um, well, Danny has something for Turkey. Gobble, gobble, gobble. 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 Okay, so, so far, everyone thinks of just eating food when it comes to Turkey and Thanksgiving. <laughs> Down under Cruz is going to the office. We'll pick you up there. Okay, all right. Well, hope to see you soon then. Okay, so it being said that no one is too familiar with Turkey, let's pick another country. Who was the next one that we saw? Um, I saw one here. Let's, let's pick one outside of Europe. Japan. Yes, I like that one. Who's been to Japan? If you have any experiences with traveling to Japan, three words to describe it. We want to know what you're thinking. Margaret wants to be added to your page. Yeah, we're going to make sure you will. I'll tell you what, give me give me a minute. For what? I want to go over, I want to put my link in, in something. Your link in what? In the community or something, because I don't know why nobody can find it. We will take care of it after the live stream, okay. not now. We're in the middle of an event, and you, you want to, you're seeing ponies again. <laughs> Goodness gracious. <coughs> Darian is saying that he's putting together a trip to Germany for up to eight people. It would be awesome if you both and others could come. Oh, nice. Thank you for the invite. Really appreciate that. Um, we'd have to see if we could and everything. And but, when? But we're not going to say yes or no at no. this time. Um, Papa Mozo saying Morocco. Yeah, we, we, we just picked um, Japan. But I don't think anybody's answering anything about Japan. GJ Gapfrave House saying that she just started a month ago. Ah, okay. Hey, we all have been there. Yang John in the house. Welcome in. Welcome Hello. in. Shout out to you. Please tell us where you're from. And again, for those of you who just stopped by, uh, we're playing just a little game here um, that at the same time is geared towards people getting to know different countries a little better. So right now we're discussing Japan. And people that have been to Japan uh, can write a description of their experiences there in three words. That's what we're doing right now. So Japan, in three words, if you've been there, how would you describe it? You know, I'm just like all wound up today. You are. I, I mean, I'm like all excited all, it, and I'm all wound up. I think what it is, is it's the energy of everything in the world starting to open up again and everybody getting excited. And I'm kind of feeling that energy. And it's like, I'm just wild it just fuels you it fuels me and i'm yeah. like oh, let's all travel let's all go someplace let's all have fun yeah. <laughs> malcolm hogan has three words for japan equals one two go, go. yes yeah so it seems like japan nope no one really okay so let's pick the next country oh there you go hungary let's talk about hungary anyone familiar with traveling to hungary three words three words please how would you describe it Three words for Hungary. Yeah, I'm so excited today. Very curious what we're going to get for Hungary. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, M&A has something for Japan. Traditional, modern, and respectful. Beautiful. Nice. Nice. So they have been there. I think they're among the very few ones that have. Let's see if we're getting something else here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Scanning, scanning, scanning. 
we did see a nice amount of countries that were mentioned. So oh. we do have uh, a nice little click list it. here. No, not yet. I want to click it. No, not yet. I want to click it. Kimberly, you're knocking the laptop over. Don't do this. But I want to click stuff. Don't do that. Let's see. Doesn't look like we're getting much no. for Hungary. Is, is, has no one been to Hungary? Please let us know. I think we should do someplace different. Okay, we'll pick another one. Uh, let's have a look here. I think we should do France. Uh, scrolling up a little bit. France! All right, we'll do France. Three words about I, France. I'm sure, I'm sure people have been to France. And then after France, we'll do Portugal, but France first. Anyone for France? We're getting Monaco in too. Rich, Richard, Richard, Richard. Richard. <laughs> nice. I like that. I like that. I like that. I'd love to hang out with you guys. So, um, do we have three words for French? For France. Yeah, for France. Yeah. That's right. French, France. Welcome. Saying France. Juliet, best waitress. Okay. You had a great experience there, apparently. Papa Moses saying food cathedral tower. Yep. Um, I would go with, let's see here. Hmm, what shall I put for France? Gare du Nord. That, that's three words, technically, in one. But that is the one of the main stations, the railway stations in Paris. I want to go to Versailles. Pam and Rich saying Lou for Sai. Yep. Hey, Doc and Nikki in the house. Welcome Hello, in, welcome. welcome in. Shout out to you. Hey, Doc and Nikki. Um, now that you just stopped in, very quick update on what we're doing here. Uh, we're exchanging travel experiences. So we have people in the chat here uh, mentioning a country, and then everyone who has been to that country is to describe it in three words only. So right now we are talking about France. Malcolm is saying underground trains, great. Raphael is just adding in a fourth word, Eiffel Tower, Louvre, Notre Dame. Yes. That's one thing. Gigi Capcave also saying great foods and wine. Yeah, that would be three words too. Nice. Hey, Lynn's nature vlog and everything is in the house. Welcome. Welcome. In. Glad let to us, have you with us. Let us know where you're from, please. Yeah, and for you too, Lynn, we're doing just a little something here, a little event. Um, we are exchanging travel experiences, so people in the chat name a country, and then everyone who has been to that country can give a description, but only with three words. Matt and Ariel saying food, history, and good taste. Nice. Yep. Doc and Nikki saying France too long ago. <laughs> okay, hey, that's three Aww. words too. Yep. All right, so we do have a lot of people here that have been to France. Well, as promised, let's move on to Portugal. Do we have three words for Portugal? You've been to Portugal. I have, and I will give you a description shortly. Malcolm was saying largest in Europe. Yeah. Been to Nice recently. Yeah, there you go. That is France for sure. Yeah. So, Doug and Nicky saying need to go for Portugal. There you are. Yeah, that works. For Portugal, I'm going to say friendly because I remember some very friendly people there. Um, beautiful, because we went to the Algarve, which is the region all the way south of Portugal at the uh, coast there, the southern coast. And let's see, I am gonna say beach, because I remember this beautiful beach that was like uh, an enshrined almost in a bay. So you had like huge rocky walls, um, that was like all carved out in the rocks almost. And then this beach was laying between the two rock formations. It was gorgeous there. Rafael is familiar with Portugal. He said Algarve port friendly. Yep. Portugal, of course, does have a nice sized coastline. So you are going to find several ports there. Lane's nature vlog and everything is saying Algarve, Portugal, friendly people. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. We stayed um, near a place called Albufeira. That, I remember what it was called, Albufeira. So several people have been uh, visiting Portugal from what it looks like. Young John saying, I'm watching it from Philippines. Nice. Make nice. sure the Philippines are on the list. Malcolm, make sure Philippines is on our list, please. How are we doing, Malcolm? 
Yeah, I think it would be a good moment for a little update here. How are we doing on countries? I'm very curious. <laughs> Rafa was saying I was referring to Porto wine. Yes, huh. that is correct. Yeah, Port. That is the famous Portuguese red wine. No, they want wine. We do have wine. You can have wine. So anything else for Portugal? Three words. If you have been there, three words about Portugal. I think we've had everyone who's been there. So let's have a look at another country. Let's see what else was mentioned. Oh, we can do another question. Now I want to do one, one more, one more country, and then we can do another question. <clears throat> um, how about Morocco? Yeah, not been to Morocco. It's definitely on the list. Next to Spain for Portugal. Yes, that is true. <clears throat> Hey, Lynn's nature vlog and everything is watching from Tenerife. Nice. Island, one of the islands off the coast of Africa that belongs to Spain. Nice, nice. Stardom in the house. Hey, welcome in, Hello. welcome in. Anthony is getting in the mood for wine. And then Malcolm is here with another update. So, so far, the following countries have been represented in our live stream. USA, New Zealand, England, Argentina, Poland, Zambia, in India, Scotland, Puerto Rico, Australia, Netherlands, Singapore, and the Philippines in the order in which they were joining today. Nice. That is great. So anyone familiar with Morocco? Three words for Morocco, please. I am very curious if any of you have had any experiences with travel to Morocco. Anyone at all? Let's see here. Not too many answers coming in so far, so I'm curious. Maybe Matt and Ariel went there? Uh, let's see. <laughs> Malcolm Hogan, Walter's World video. Yeah, Walter's World is an amazing channel. They have been all over the place. K-I-M, say three things. <laughs> Kim, say three things. Nice, nice. Okay, it doesn't seem like we're getting too much response to Morocco here. No. So we are just going to move on. Uh, let's see here. Were there any other countries mentioned here? I don't think there were. I know France was, Portugal was. Uh, okay, all right, one more. We'll, we'll do Monaco. And we have already had Matt and Ariel saying rich, rich, richer. Anyone else who's been to Monaco? Please let us know. Three words from Monaco. Do tell. If you had experience with travel to Monaco, do tell them in three words only. In the meantime, Tyler's taking off. Hey, thanks so much for stopping by again, Tyler. We always appreciate your support. And you too have a great week. Doc and Nikki saying awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. Yes, that will be three words. I'm an exploring the world. Says not yet, but it's in our list. Okay. I have a feeling. The, between the four of us, we have everywhere on our list. E, well, between all 24 of us. Well, I'm just, even just them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Doc and Nikki, been many times. Yeah, that will be three words. Rafael is looking more at the Grand Prix of Monaco here. Fernando Alonso champion. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yacht toys and gambling. Daniel Fields, yacht toys and gambling. Yeah. That, Very that, nice. I think that would also sum Monaco up. You know what? This is a fun thing. I, I like this. It's a fun game. Yeah, absolutely. Anyone else from Monaco? Going once, going twice? Last call for Monaco. If you have any experience with Monaco, three words to describe it. Doc and Nicky have a little experience in Monaco. They said they rented a motorcycle in Nice, France, and drove it up to Monaco for the day. That must have been amazing. I cannot imagine that be bad. Doc and Nikki Alonso is coming back. <laughs> Rafael is not so sure about that. Nice. All right. So let's move on to the next question because we got a bunch of questions. This was just the beginning of the questions we have for you guys today. And we still have like 20 people in here. You know what I think? What? I think with the world opening starting to open back up, I yeah. think a lot of people are going back to work. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Yeah. Yeah, and um, so that's why we're going to keep doing our Wednesdays 
because it works well for a lot of you. Yeah. And we are going to incorporate at least twice a month those 11.45 Friday nights. Yeah, absolutely. And that way, try to give everyone who likes our channel an opportunity to join for these live streams. Yep. But let's now move on to the next question here. We still have a nice size party going on. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I don't plan on uh, quitting it anytime soon. Uh, we would like to know from you, what is the a favorite excursion of yours you've ever done? So it doesn't have to be necessarily an excursion during a cruise. It might very well be an excursion you did when you were on a city trip or on a backpack trip for all we care. It can be truly anything. So your favorite excursion ever. What was that? Do share with everyone and we were going to talk about it. Doc and Nikki asking where you are from. Western Pennsylvania, Doc and Nikki. That is where we are located. Where are you from? Yeah, please tell us where you're at. Malcolm saying went back to work late April here. Yeah, see? Yeah. You're going to have that. And in a way, that's a good thing, of course, because, you know, people were starting to really get struggling. Doc and Nikki answering that they're from New York. Okay, nice. Rafael saying, hopefully get a competitive car because he's the best driver, in my opinion. It's proved in other categories. Nice. Some more Monaco talk still going on here. That's why I want to go to Monaco. Walk some of the track. Virgin Voices, Valiant Lady has Monaco on one of her stops. Okay. I know you were telling me about that. Yeah, there you go. Anthony Simone saying, swimming with Stingrays in Grand Cayman. So you swam with them. We fed them in Key West, it was. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. There was like um, a little aquarium there. Um, well, it wasn't that little all considered. It was a nice one. It was a nice size one, but in Key West, it was a very nice aquarium. And they had stingrays too, and you were able to feed them. And that was a very neat experience. Hey, look who's in the house. Hello. Center of Left welcome. Comedy. Nice. Welcome in. Please tell us where you're from. Big shout out to you. Uh, we always make it a little bit of an Olympic sport here to count the, the countries that have been represented in our live stream. So please tell us where you're from. Malcolm Hogan is answering the question we asked about the favorite excursion ever. Uh, Schoenberg Palace in Vienna, best day, day trip. Oh, that oh sounds like something. Vienna has been known for some really stunning architecture and is still known today as such. Uh, it is widely regarded as, of course, um, a cultural capital in Europe. So, yeah, that, that, that will be something to visit, no doubt. Doug and Nikki saying for their favorite excursion, swimming with whale sharks in Mexico. Wow. We took a cab to a private plane, to a private boat to get to the sharks. Well, hey, you had to do something for it, but I'm sure it was well worth the experience. Okay, it's fun. We have a new country here. Woohoo! Nice! Lagos, Nigeria. Malcolm, you have to add another country to the list. I see we have someone from Nigeria here. That is fantastic. What time is it there? Yeah, what, what time is it right now in Nigeria? I'm very curious. Doc and Nikki saying that they were almost into peer runner mode. Just made it back before the ship left. Oy, 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 oy. Run! Wow. That is something. Rafael saying, I really enjoyed the Sistine Chapel and the Vatican and Rome in general. Okay. Now, see, Rome is one of those cities where we have not been to yet. Uh, we have been to Italy, but it was to uh, Verona. Mm -hmm. um, Verona is gorgeous, but I'd like to see some more of Italy. So uh, we are thinking about places like the Amalfi Coast, like Florence, uh, Rome, of course, Milan. Um, there, there's a lot in Italy, actually, we want to see. Sicily. Doc and Nikki's having a little conversation with Pam and Rich. If you're a Formula One fan, just driving through the tunnel is an awesome experience. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they, they do have those tunnels out there. That's right. Anthony Simone, the name of the place we fed them in Key West. Oh, I'm trying to remember. It was um, it was just... Do you remember? No, it's, it's the oldest aquarium. It, it's the oldest attraction in Key West. So, if, so if, it's the aquarium in Key West, and it's the oldest attraction that they have there. If you Google that, Anthony, I think, to get that yeah, I think you would be able to get the name. Malcolm has another one. He says, also the cliffs of Moher, in, or Moher, I'm not sure how you pronounce that exactly, in Ireland. My mom's family name was Moher. Oh, wow. 
So you may indeed he have some. Irish yeah, roots. you may have some some ties back there. Yeah, he said that before. Yeah, but I wonder if if um, his family name was actually truly involved with that area getting named more. Maybe. I'm, I'm I'm curious. Our friend from Nigeria saying it is 10:43 p.m. now, and I'm uh, in bed already. <laughs> well, hey, we really appreciate you stopping by. That's really awesome. So tell us. Um, do you have any travel stories you wish to share with us? Any of the favorite excursions you have done or places you would like to go to? Please do share with us. This is an interactive live stream, so we want to hear what you have to say. Malcolm is saying, can't type today. Letters next to each other. <laughs> nice. Raphael really seems to be into that. Got goosebumps just thinking about that. Wow, stayed a block away from the Le Mans circuit and drove in it. Wow, yeah, that, that's impressive. If you like Formula One, then yes, that, that's really something. Let's see here. Pam and Richard saying Key West Aquarium. Okay, there so we go. <laughs> sometimes the answers are it's so obvious. simple. <laughs> hey, look who stopped by to say hi to us. Zach Worm, hi. former co worker of us at Walmart. Nice. Hey, welcome, Zach. How are you doing? Please let us know. Hey, Matt and Ariel have something to add to this. They say the best excursion ever we did was renting bikes in Kyoto and made a ride in the Arishiyama bamboo oh forest, among other places. Amazing and unforgettable. I bet that was. I, I can only imagine. You would love that. Yes, I would be totally about this very excursion. That sounds really, really cool. Yeah, Anthony Simone <laughs> got the answer. Key West Aquarium, that's what it was called. Yeah, they have um, both an indoor and outdoor area. Um, so the indoor area has a lot of uh, different fish and, and, and sea creatures behind glass. But I also remember them having some sharks out there in, uh, in some water in the center. It's like and they gave a big talk yeah, about them. It's like a, a, a little, yeah, I want to say pool for sharks and you can walk around it. And they give you a little talk about them. They They... It was a great. Uh, it was a great. It's very day. informative. We really enjoyed it. Zach Worm is saying, "I'm doing good, dreaming of when I'll be able to travel again." Well, about that, Zach. Um, judging by what I have been reading here in the comments that we got in the chat, traveling is starting to open up again. Uh, it, it's baby steps, of course, but things are opening up again, and we are seriously headed in the right direction. So it shouldn't be much, much longer. Let's see here. Uh, Doug and Nikki are saying we are picking up our first RV Saturday. Yay! Go with safe travel for a little while. Didn't know you guys did RV travel. Um, we have RV travel friends. Yeah, here's the thing with, with the RV. We would really love to do an RV trip at some point. We just never got to yet. Not yet. And we are learning a lot from the RV community. Uh, get a little bit of a feel for what it would be like, and I tell you what: the more I'm, the more things I'm seeing about it, the more interested I'm getting in it. Let's see, Mr. Johnny is saying I have to be loyal to my countrymen. I love Hamilton. <laughs> yes, there you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. Johnny and Mrs. Morrison both from England. Nice. Hey, look who just joined us. Sherry Awesome Sunsets Travel in the Welcome house. In. Welcome in. Good to have you with us today. So we were just um, talking about the most amazing excursion you've ever done. So we got some really, really nice comments here. Um, so let us know if there's anything at all that comes to mind when you think of the best excursion ever. And it doesn't have to be necessarily a cruise excursion. No. It can be anything. Something you did while you were RVing or backpacking or doing a city trip, anything at all. Center of Left of Comedy is saying, okay, I love the last time I traveled to northern Nigeria. It was so amazing. I will. I would love to travel to Sydney, South Africa, USA, and Arsenal. Nice. Arsenal, I'm, I'm figuring it means Arsenal Football Club. Maybe. In London. Well, we really hope you get to go to those places sometime. In fact, we do have people sometimes stopping by from Australia. Um, if they are still here down under cruisers, he they are from Australia. Work. Oh, okay. I don't know if he's back. They might be stopping back in here again shortly, but we do have people sometimes in here from Australia. And uh, Malcolm Hogan is from New Zealand, and he has been to Australia. So 
Um, you're definitely in the right spot for, for those places. Doc and Nikki saying, oh, we went glamping in India. I had breakfast with an elephant. <laughs> okay, I want to know more oh about God. this. What do you mean you had breakfast with an elephant? I'm getting very curious now. I, I want to know all about this, Doug and Nikki. Yeah, what if happened? We need here? more information. Did you, you know, non Tell me what this is. Just, just tell me about this. Very In a very unassuming way, did you just open up your tent and looked outside and, oh, there's an elephant. Good morning to you. I'm just having some French toast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm very curious about that. Malcolm saying another experience he had Singapore Airlines returning to New Zealand this month. Just Emirates and Qatar missing from long haul flights over 10 hours for us. Yeah. Yeah, in order for you to get places, you do need to go it's along holes. Yeah, it's really an investment. True. Doug and Nikki, our videos are going to be up from India about one week. I want to see that elephant in there, Doug yes, and Nikki. Yes, we want to know all about this. There has to be the elephant in there, and I do want to know what happened. So, yeah, we're, we're going to, here, I'm going to write it down right now. Elephant, Doug, and Nikki. I definitely want to know more about that. Let's see. Center of Left of Comedy saying, asking where we're from. Well, we are from Western Pennsylvania in the United States, although I was born a Dutchman. So if I don't sound very American to you, then that's why. He's from the Netherlands. Yes, I am originally from the Netherlands. That's correct. Sherry Awesome Sunset Travel saying, Chichen Itza, Mayan ruins in Mexico was totally amazing. One of the seven wonders of the world. Yes. You know what? We need to go there. For all those times we've been to Mexico, we need to go to Chichen Itza. Okay. That's all you have to say. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So did we book it? Yes. <laughs> Doc and Nikki saying, I haven't gotten that far into the trip yet, but it was awesome. She's on our Instagram page. Instagram is Doc and Nikki Insta. Okay. You do the Instagram site. So. Okay. I do the Instagram very terribly. Why? I'm bad at it. Why are you I'm not bad quite at it? understanding how, I, how I'm just terrible at Instagram. Well, that is all the more reason to keep practicing, right? Yeah, my daughter Alice is going to teach me more about Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Doug and Nikki Insta. All right, we took note of that. Yeah, we're from Israel. And they're saying we we also did a sweet class flight on Singapore Airlines, best flight in the world. Oh. Okay, I want to see that too. Yeah, looks like we got some watching to do here. And I think Malcolm wants to see that too. Oh yeah. He'd like that. Yeah. Center of Love, the comedy is saying I thought you two were from Israel. No. Nope. No, we're not. Let's see here. Doc and Nikki say Nikki is in charge of insights. Right. So we leave it to the <laughs> ladies then. Doc. Leave Instagram to the ladies. Here, look, Sherry is also also does Instagram. Oh, our friend from Pakistan. Is hey, here. look who's in here! Our friend from Pakistan, and he is saying hello, Asif, Jay, Iqbal from Pakistan. We have dust storm here and then huge power failure. Oh, oh. I hope you are okay, my friend. Um, it's wonderful to have you with us again, though. We're thrilled to have you with us. Uh, Malcolm, please at make Pakistan. sure you add Pakistan to the list, and um. Just for your information, what we are doing here is we're exchanging travel experiences from excursions. So do share with us your favorite excursion you ever did. We have, we have some amazing answers here already. And please tell us if, if there's any excursion that comes to your mind when asked that question. I have a question. And this is for Doug and Nikki. Okay. Doug and Nikki, did you find... Do we find each other through YouTube or do, do we find each other through Instagram? Period, period, period. Yeah, <laughs> because I'm curious now, because you mentioned about the Instagram, so I'm curious how we found each other. Happy Cruising is here as well. Hi, Happy Cruising. Well, as they saw, I use Instagram too. There you go. In happy problem? Cruising in the house. Hey, welcome in, welcome in. Big shout out to you. Uh, Malcolm is counting 15 countries so far that have represented, uh, have been represented in our live stream today. USA, New Zealand, England, Argentina, Poland, Zambia, India, Scotland, Puerto Rico, Australia, Netherlands, Singapore, Philippines, Nigeria, and Pakistan. Wow. Wow. That, that's like, wait a minute. I think we got all the continents covered. 
on the inhabit let me see usa and, and that will be the americas of course um matt and ariel are from argentina that's south america india is asia poland would be europe as well as scotland and england and then nigeria will be in africa and pakistan is yes we got all the continents covered that are inhabited wow they're really inhabited <laughs> that's fantastic awesome <laughs> Look at here, center of left of comedy. Instagram is for the ladies, YouTube for the men. <laughs> Good to know. Nice, nice. Let's see here. Looks like Rafael is already uh, having a look at the pictures from Duck and Nikki here. Happy cruising. Do you want to be in another cruise -a-thon? Well, we are kind of busy with work again right now. So um, I think it's going to get a little difficult, to be honest with you. But thank you so much for the offer. We appreciate that. Mr. Johnny25 is saying that he did a Game of Thrones walk in Croatia and Dubrovnik. They filmed the TV show there. I oh, know. Wow. And that is absolutely awesome that you got to do that. I loved Game of Thrones so much, except the last season. Well, last maybe, season, we were really disappointed. Last season made me want to break stuff. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. But hey, that must be an absolutely wonderful experience. Wow. Uh, yeah, Oceania and Australia also. Yep. There you go. Yep. Yeah, we, we really had like all the continents. Nice. Doc and Nikki, oh, that's how I found you. The cruise is on. I remember right <laughs> after the demo started. <laughs> yeah, well, there, okay. there is the answer. Like I said, you know, we have been so fortunate that we have made so many friends. Yeah. And we our family has continued to grow. And um, we're up over, what, 1,100 in our YouTube family now. Yes, we are. And it's wonderful, and we love it. And I'm trying to figure out exactly what ways of connecting with you all are working the best. Yeah, it's still so, a learning process for yeah. us. Because for those of you who don't know, we are, like, just three months old or so, and that's it. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're really we're very a new. very young channel, very much newbies to the game. So let's see here. Anne is saying here, just finished season one of Game of Thrones. Oh, so you're in for a lot more seasons until it starts getting bad. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a fantastic. They're actually talking about redoing the last season, and I think they should. Yeah, yeah, that, that would probably be for the best. Malcolm is saying here, continent missing on Antarctica. Yeah, I do know there's people that kind of live there too. Um, it would be nice if we could add that at some point. <laughs> No, we're all but gonna for go now, look for people just from Antarctica. Count our blessings that we at least got that. And look who's here now, Romeo.com. Hey, welcome in, my friend. Big shout out to you. Please tell everyone where you're from. And if you ever went on an excursion anywhere, um, that you really remember to this day because it was that good. That's what we're talking about right now. So an excursion that you really love that you have done. Doc and Nick here saying, you guys are doing great building a community. I've filled every way possible with our live chats. You're doing great to have this many people here. Hey, it's, it, a lot of this is trial and error. Yeah. And seriously, give it another chance. Give, give your live streams another chance. We would love to attend. We would yeah. love to uh, see you two doing something nice. Uh, nice? Life. I don't know when the letter S turned into a letter V, but apparently We're it just We're having did. a day. Yeah. That's another one of those classical yeah. eh. Rafael saying, wow, three months old and already have a beard. Nice, Rafael. What are you saying about what? me? What are you saying about me, Rafael? <laughs> Rafael, we know Kimberly has Italian roots, but hey, hey. That, that's not cool, man. We, we, we all can't get to the salon yet. <laughs> and is saying, I can only watch it by trailer, no TV cable here. Oh, oh I see. Yeah. All right, let's see here. Do we have any more experiences while uh, on an excursion while traveling please do share with us we would love to know that's your new question if there are no more experiences new question. Well, we can just throw in a new question that's I fine think we should. yeah okay, okay I, I know which one i want to do okay, okay stop waving your hands you're going to knock my eyes out i know which one i want to do all right Wait, Doc and Nikki is saying here, I haven't given up, but it's hard getting more than 10 friends and family. We'll try again soon. All right. So for those of you not yet familiar with Doc and Nikki, 
Hint, hint, hint. They yes. are fellow travelers. We are fellow travelers. Everyone should be fellow travelers with Doc and Nikki. And they're saying now that they swam with penguins. You Tell really did. The cold stuff. You, you, seriously, where did you get to do this? Did you get to? I mean, I cannot be in Antarctica, really. Kimberly, stop pointing. My bottle of water almost fell on the floor. Quit poking me. I'm all excited. Asif is saying here, as I told you, that I've covered eight European countries in 12 days. It was one of the great traveling experiences I've made recently. I, I bet. And, and you know what? I perfectly understand you bring that up on, once again, Asif, um, because sometimes certain memories can be so vivid and have made such an impression on you that you want to tell them over and over again. And you know what? We got a lot of people in here you probably didn't meet before, so this is the first time they get to see that. So yeah. I'm glad you brought it up again. Hey, the sunny side of coffee is in here. Just join the chat. Welcome, welcome. Grab yourself some coffee and make yourself at home. And let us know where you're from. Let us know where you're from. And if there's any excursion you did while you were... I want a new were... question. I'm sure she can tell about an but excursion. We're just doing a new question. We said we were doing a new question. No, we're not yet. Anyways, if the sunny side of coffee has an excursion that they really want to share with everyone, yeah, we want to hear then we about want it. to hear it. Malcolm is throwing in another fun fact in the meantime. He's saying, next fun fact, Ukraine has a coastline longer than Germany. Well, that is not surprising because I do know, what's it called? There? Is that the Black Sea where Ukraine is? I think it's the Black Sea. It's like a landlocked sea. It's going to sound a bit of a paradox, but... And Germany only has a coastline up north. Greg and Nikki think we should have a new question. We too. will. We will. Asif has done a lot of domestic traveling. Well, you know what, Asif? Feel free because, you know, domestic traveling is traveling too. We discussed it earlier in this very live stream. It definitely counts. Galapagos Islands, it's all on our page, Dr. Nikki say. Nice. Happy cruising, says the USA. Okay. Zach says, gotta go, guys. Hi, Zach. Stop and say hi. Hey, thanks so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. And then they also said, oh, quieting in the desert, right? In the shadow of the Great Pyramids was awesome. Also, okay, you just made me very jealous. Because Egypt is like my number one destination. Egypt I want to was visit. on our list this year. Egypt has been on my list ever since I was a little boy. Yeah, but we were really doing Egypt this year, and then the apocalypse happened. Yeah, I suppose so. Well, let's see here. Sunny side of coffee is from Puerto Rico. Nice, 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 nice. Anthony uh, is also from Puerto Rico. I'm not sure if he's still here. Malcolm is saying 51 likes so far. Nice. That's headed in the right direction then for sure. Dr. Nikki saying Egypt, Egypt is, is awesome. awesome. All right. So let's move on with the next question then. Anything that you want to? I think what we should do is one thing that you always pack that you never leave home without. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So... It being said that there is many kinds of travel possible, uh, well, maybe not right now, but in general, so you can go by train, by, by ship, by airplane, you mention it. What is something you always bring with you? So what is the first thing? Let, let's put it that way. The first thing that goes in your suitcase. Or your purse. Or your purse, or in your backpack. And not your passport, you bring. okay? Not your passport. <laughs> So let's see. In the meantime, we'll answer this question here from Happy Cruising. Which cruise ship is your favorite? Ah, I always find that one so hard. Yeah, we just like a whole bunch of different cruise ships. Um, but so far, I'm going to, I'll put it this way for you. And I've said it like this once before, I do believe. Um, I like the, the, the MSC Divina ship wise. I like the food from Royal Caribbean. And if I could have the Norwegian experience on there, that'd be fantastic. That 3 HC experience. That would be my ideal cruise. I do like the Divina. It's beautiful. Rafael throwing one more in for the previous question. Marvel Cave and the Branson Missouri and their amusement park. Amazing. Nice. Hey, look at that. Sherry Awesome Sons of Travels. Liked and shared. Thank, Thank you so you. much. That is awesome. Happy Cruising is answering that the first thing they bring is their GoPro Hero 8 Black. Ooh. Nice. So you got the new version. 
Malcolm is saying that the first thing he brings us is a milk box. Multi box. Oh, multi box. Oh, okay. Oh, is there that you it? go. What it is? Is it, is it a multi box? Or yeah, probably multi box. Or is it something I don't know it, what it is? I think multi box. Electrical, he says. Rafael from Visus Travel saying my tore up hat and my camera. Nice. Sunny side of coffee says I always bring my phone, credit cards, a power bank, some money, and some electronics for entertainment. Yeah, makes sense. Absolutely. Sherry Awesome Sunset Travel first always make sure that she has hand sanitizer and sanitizer wipes with her. You know what? That is probably and particularly now anymore a very good idea. Duck and Nikki doesn't have too many great memories when Hero 8 Black was mentioned because they lost uh, it in India. Ah, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. Sunny Side of Coffee saying, just got my Hero 8 too. They're popular. They are. <laughs> uh, Matt and Ariel are saying, about your question for Ariel, has to be the camera. And for me, it has to be the cables and charges. And uh, then comes the clothes. Nice. Yeah. I think it's funny how most of us, and I do believe I'm seeing a trend here as far as people that are creators in our live streams are concerned, uh, they tend to bring the electronics first. Yes. So the camera goes in there first, and then you worry about clothes everything and everything. Else. That's interesting, though. Malcolm saying it was the multiple electric plug box, so I only need an adapter. Okay. Okay. That is very, very convenient indeed. Rafael saying, just shared you on my community tab. I just uh, forgot just to got that. Okay. Hey, no worries. RIP, GoPro Hero 8 Black. Oi, oi, oi. Duck and Nikki, I missed the question. All right. So the question is, what is the first thing you pack whenever you go on a trip? The first thing that you put that in. You never leave home without. You, yeah, exactly. You, you always make sure that gets in your suitcase, backpack, or whatever you bring first. Hey, look who's here. Ness and Rick Flux from Hi. Jamaica. Oh, good. I'm All glad you right. came. At Jamaica, Malcolm. And I wanted to say, <coughs> I was reading that um, Jamaica's opening back up this month for tourism. What yeah. have you heard? Tell me what you're hearing there. Yeah, we want to know firsthand from someone who's actually there. So please tell us. We'd like to know. Malcolm, meanwhile, adding that there's also two USB slots. Oh, and for uh, Ness and Rick, um, the question we're discussing here is what is the first item that you always make sure you bring with you when you're traveling? So what goes in your backpack first? What do you never, never leave the house without? <laughs> Doc and Nikki say, oh, I'm in charge of electronics. Nikki is in charge of clothes. So for me, it's a camera of some type. Okay. The funny thing is, with Neil and I, we kind of have everything kind of divided up. Like, I usually have the different cords and things like that in my one bag. Like, they will connect our phones to the chargers and the chargers to whatever. Um, now, we've been putting the GoPro and all of that kind of stuff into his backpack. Yeah. Um, and as far as um, travel documents and things like that, I always have all of that. Whatever travel itinerary we have, documents that we need, all of that is everything that I have with me. But as far as something that I never seem to travel without, it seems like no matter where I've went in the world, I always bring my Star Trek t-shirt with me. You do. <laughs> now that you mention it, you do. Wow, that's crazy. But no. yeah, you do now that you mention it. <laughs> Wait a minute, I do see you in that a lot. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Sherry Awesome uh, Sunset Travels adding also back spray. Yeah, you do want to do that. That's a good thing to bring along. Let's see here. And oh, is it next month? I thought I read it was this month. I guess they're holding off uh, for one more month then. Yeah, might be for the best, in all fairness. I'm excited. But that's good. I, I mean, want to go to Jamaica. I'm glad that we are really headed in the right direction with all of this. That That's great. You know what? And it's, yes, I miss Jamaica too. It's You notice this too? It's after 6 o'clock. Because we were talking about this um, as far as numbers of people attending the live and things like that. About with the world opening back up, that not as many people are available at this time on Wednesdays. But then we like shut up a little bit. And I think it's because of people getting off of work. 
Yeah. Yeah, we may have to do some adjustments left and right, but we'll, we'll see. I, I mean, a lot of people do like our stream through the week. What are you doing? I'm live long and prosper. Okay, that is language I don't understand. Exactly. Are you and Rafa having secret code conversations? Yes, we are. Do I need to worry? You should. Doug and Nikki. You know I like men with an accent. <laughs> hey! <laughs> That's not cool. <laughs> now I have to worry. Aww. Happy cruising, saying, I would like to pack my clothes, hand sanitizer, mask, Colin. And go pro accessory, go pro accessories. Yeah, absolutely. We all want to pack, just go. You know, I tend to bring my Sudoku book along with me, along with a book to read that I hardly ever read. No, he never reads it. But I do, for some reason, always like to bring it with me. All right. So let's see. I think we can move on to the next question here. Let's see if we can exchange some more travel things right here between us. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, yeah, this is a fun one. We would like to know something that you have done out of your comfort zone while traveling, but that you really ended up enjoying. So something that you have done out of your comfort zone while traveling, and that you really thought like, gee, I really enjoy doing this, actually. Very curious. Oh, we got an... We got an Raphael, it's okay, Neil. My wife also likes men with accents. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So while we're waiting for the answers to come in here to our question, Malcolm has a score update from us. We got to 16 countries that were represented today in our live stream. That is absolutely fantastic. Jamaica, Pakistan, Nigeria. Philippines, Singapore, Netherlands, Australia, Puerto Rico, Scotland, India, Zambia, Poland, Argentina, England, New Zealand, and the USA. That is amazing. I like that. Romeo's having a great time here. Good, good, good. The more laughter, the better. Happy Cruising is answering our question and saying, eating, eating escargot. escargot. I love escargot. I just cannot get myself to eating that. It's, it's just so good. I smell that and I'm already like, uh, no. Well, you know what? He doesn't do really good with garlicky, buttery things. No, no. And I, I do. I'm not much of a dairy person. I do like my yogurts, though. But other than that, not exactly. Doc and Nick here saying eating pigeon in Cairo and the whole India trip. Okay. See, we have been going back and forth of India, but I've been watching a lot of videos about India yeah. lately, um, particularly when networking with fellow travel vloggers. And... The more I see, the more I want to visit India. I mean, it's really growing on me. And I definitely don't rule out that at some point sooner or later, we will go to India. The sunny side of coffee is saying I ended up sleeping in an airport overnight, but it was somewhat of an adventure. <laughs> okay. You know, that reminds me of what we discussed last week from what would you do if you get lost? Yeah, Remember? we did talk about that. Yeah. But I, I bet it was quite an adventure. Rafael saying, the belly flop, it was a blast and it's on my channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Malcolm is saying, parasailing, my son learned I can swear a lot. <laughs> was it that bad, Malcolm? Oh, my God. You know what? I, I've i looked at that and I've thought about it. It's way out of my comfort zone. and I. But, I, but for some reason, I'm kind of attracted to doing it. I... Not sure exactly why. I think I do. But it. I'm sure I could teach everyone some new words if I do. <laughs> you see, I think it would be kind of along the lines of going on a ski lift. So I don't like ski lifts. You you are up in the air kind of, like just sitting there. But, you know, you're still protected and ski stuff. Ski lifts freak me out. I like ski lifts. They're nice and relaxing. No, they're not. You sit back, relax, and enjoy no. the scenery. And you can fall off and die. I don't like it. Yeah, the bar's in front of you. No, it, it's all You really bad. have to do something to fall out of there. I don't, have a, it, I don't like it. I love ski lifts. Nothing wrong with them. Um, let's see. Happy cruising. The Oscar goat tastes like chicken. It does not <laughs> taste like chicken. Stop it. <laughs> That's funny. No. <laughs> it's great. Oh, Doug and Nikki saying, don't believe any of the scammer uh, you see on YouTube about India. People are amazing. Yeah, you know what? We have a lot of friends um, actually from India. 
um, here in the in the YouTube community. Yeah, and we do. They're always very nice and polite. I can't say anything bad about them, really. Margaret. Sherry, awesome sunset travel saying snorkeling in Cancun, Mexico. Oh, yes. I'm a big time snorkel fan and I'm starting to get Kimberly into it a little bit. I mean, we're not quite to the part yet where she swims in water where she can stand, but if she can stand in water, then she's more comfortable. One right? thing, yeah, one thing I did do, and this was years ago, this was actually before Neil and I started traveling together. I went out on a smaller catamaran out onto the ocean and I laid out on the net part. And that at the time was like way outside my comfort zone. And I had a wonderful time. And every time that we do travel, I try to do something that's a little bit outside my comfort zone. I try to find like maybe one thing. And when Neil and I were traveling together, one of those things was snorkeling. And I really, it ended up being one of the things I really love. Yeah. So we definitely want to do some more snorkeling here soon. Romeo.com is saying visit the northeast of India. It is completely different there. I recommend to everyone. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, you know, I have seen so many different things about India that, that you that there are to do because it's of course such a huge country, and I think sometimes that fact gets overlooked because you cannot possibly compare different parts of countries with other parts. If I compare um, within Germany, for instance. You cannot compare the Munich area to, like, let's say, uh, Brunswick. Yeah. Whole different animal. Margaret is saying, going to, into the salt mines in Austria, I have claustrophobia issues, so it was difficult for me, but worth it. I can understand that. And it yeah, would be, it I would think be very you can rewarding. kind of relate to it that. It would be very rewarding, I feel. Um, like I said, the funny thing with me is something will set me off and, like, really bother me, and then another thing won't. I mean, I've done like um the submarine excursions um like that they take you underwater in the little submarine thing and i actually did okay with that which i was surprised and i think i could do the salt mines as well i think i could do that but that uh, that parasailing i just don't know and seems to think it's fun yeah and there seems to say that it was not uh, not scary at all but what about the landing I think, I think I'm more afraid of the landing than the, than the being in the air. I think it's kind of like going up and down an airplane, to be honest with you. But, I mean, the landing, how do you land? Correct me if I'm wrong, Anne, but that, that's the impression I have. Raphael is saying here, also the rise on top of the stratosphere in Las Vegas. Talk about scary. Yeah, okay. I can imagine. We're not big into those like roller coasters and stuff, but I can imagine for sure. Malcolm saying was out of mind too. Still want to wing walk. Just got to lose all that way to get down to less than 86 did kilograms. We, did we do this question last week? I thought no. we did this question already. No, I don't think so. What's no. a fun question? Out of the comfort zone. No, here. Look at this one here from Matt and Ariel. Eating egg ants and grilled crickets in Mexico. Oh my gosh, never thought it was going to taste well, but it did, though it sounds terrible. Yeah, see, I would do, I, I don't think that I would. That I might do. I would come. It, especially if they're, I've seen that they have like little fried crickets and they're like crunchy and I and I think I might be able to do that but when it comes to foods I can kind of try different things usually yeah Bama Ritz are saying solo parachute jump no tandem for me it was awesome whoa yes yeah, oh, I love you parachute jump no no not for me no I'm not, not no me. I always imagine myself to be that guy whose trap is not secured properly enough. Yeah. And he... I, don't, I, you know, I, I wouldn't even do the tandem jump because I don't think it would be fair to, for me to pee on that person. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and is saying snorkeling. I still have to get my grandson to teach me. Okay. Well, I can tell you because I'm a big time snorkeler. That's amazing. You just have to make sure that you wear some uh, good water shoes to protect your feet. And that you don't touch anything you are not sure you should touch. Yeah. But other than that, it's really amazing. Mess and Rick Fox, be right back. My friend came home from a hospital yesterday, not doing so well. Oh, oh sorry to hear that. Yeah. Hopefully, everything is going to be okay, Mess and Rick Fox. You just take care, all right? I'll be thinking about you. Yeah, for sure. Happy Cruising saying, drinking tomato water. Don't try it. No, you don't like tomato water? What is tomato water? Maybe tomato juice? Do you mean tomato juice or tomato water? What is this? 
And to Anna Handley, attached to a boat by a small piece of string. Yeah. Sherry Awesome Sunset Trouble saying, I was in deep water, but made hubby hold my hand. Yeah, that's what that's what she does. <laughs> that's what she does. You like when I climb on you. That was an excursion in Jamaica you're referring to. We were in a, <gasps> in a bioluminescent lake. So basically what that means is that whenever you make movement in the water, the water kind of lights up. So it was an excursion in the evening when it was dark. And, um, well, you couldn't really stand in the water. Uh, well, Kimberly couldn't. I could, depending on the He's area. Three. But that helps. And Kimberly had climbed on my neck. I'm a pretty strong swimmer. And then she just splashed water in my face. Well, so I couldn't see where we were going. I was so funny because I'm, like, hanging on him. I'm, like, behind him because, like, I can't touch the ground. And, you know, I don't do well with that. And then I wanted to see it light up. So you had to move the water to make it light up. So I'm in front of his face, moving the water. In my face. In his face. <laughs> we had so much fun. It, it was very much a married couple moment. Yes. And it's a <laughs> hey, look who's in there. Ronnie Hi. and Alma from Life is Good Today. Welcome in, guys. So for those of you not yet familiar with Ronnie and Alma, two fantastic people that love to cruise in particular, big time travelers. Um, you would do well befriending them if you haven't done so yet. And is saying it's attached by heavy rope. It's about the parasailing. And if you don't, if you ever went down, it's only water below. No big deal. I loved it. Yeah. See, the water thing below is what's freaking me out, dear. That I would end up in water I can't stand in. I wouldn't have a problem with that, but I can see how for you that might be a little scary then. So uh, for life is good today. What uh, we're just discussing <clears throat> experiences uh, out of your comfort zone, excursions you've done, things you have done that you ended up really loving. Yes, one of them was eating escargot, which I do like. No, I can I even the smell. No, you thank you. Do. No. Doug and Nikki saying a terrible experience we didn't expect. Camel market in Cairo, very scary and pleasant. Oh, what about it though? What 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 made it scary? I bet you they have a video. Possibly, yeah. And they're saying they land you gently on the boat. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like kind of like an airplane experience, I'm thinking. Maybe that. I think. Rafael saying parasailing, they pull you into the boat. Yeah, yeah, that's what I have seen. I see some meetings and greetings being exchanged. Sherry would definitely love to parasail. Yeah, so would I. I, I, I think I really want to try that. And is saying, no thanks with the box. Snake I might try. Okay. I would definitely try snake. There you go. And sending prayers over to our friends in Jamaica. Thank you for that. That's appreciated. Duck and Nikki, solo parachute. So cool. There you go. Yeah. Uh, Matt and Ariel saying, yes, the crickets are crunchy and they are traditional and expensive food usually served at fancy restaurants. Isn't wow. Isn't that neat? That See, that is one of the things we love about travel. You know what? I didn't have these because, I, well, it was kind of freaky. What? But when we were in Colombia, yeah. there were people selling a, a big spiders to eat. Big spiders? Yeah. They called them big ass spiders. Would you like some fried spider? No. I don't know. Adele, they were hey, prepared. But... Watch it being really delicious, though. Yeah, but I'm they did that. I don't know. I can do the cricket. I mean, if you spice things right, a lot of the time it can turn out really well. A lot of it depends on the way you spice things. Malcolm is saying that he has eaten snake, crocodile, emu, and kangaroo in Australia. So out of those, Malcolm, what was your favorite? Yeah. I'm very curious. Let's see. Happy cruising about the tomato water. He says it is tomato juice, but the chefs use the ship's napkin to filter out the juice to turn it to a water-like drink. That doesn't even sound no. good. No. When I, I mean, I would like to drink the tomato juice. Yeah. Pam and Rich saying, for you snorkelers, I highly recommend a good rush guard shirt with SPF rating. Sunburn on the back is murder. Certified scuba diver since 1970. Wow. So they have a lot of experience. Yeah, a lot of experience under the belt. That's amazing. So that is some great advice there. Thank you for that. Uh, let's see. Some more meetings and greetings. Life is good today. Thanking us for the shout out. Hey, you're more than welcome, welcome, guys. Absolutely. Um, 
Hey, look who's here, Joe and Ann Bonnard. Welcome in, welcome in. Glad to have you with us today. Where are you from? Tell us where you're from and let everyone know. So for those of you who just stopped by, this is an interactive live stream. We are not going to just sit here and preach at you. You are going to be part of the conversation. Yes, it's join we, the conversation. We don't do lecturing. Nope. Let's see. Um, 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 Anne is thanking Pam and Rich for the advice. Yep, absolutely. Hey, another newcomer here, oh, Chacha wow. Maria Longa Ako. Hello, guys. How are you doing? Just passing by. Hey, welcome so to our live stream. Tell us, please, where you are from so everyone knows and so that Malcolm, our friend from New Zealand, can tag your country on if it is not yet on the list of countries that have visited our live stream today. Life is Good Today is saying we try to do something different on every cruise, snorkeling, rope course, eating different things, karaoke, partying all night. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Like I said, whenever we travel, I do. I like I like to try something that's just a little outside my comfort zone, something a little bit new, something that I have to think about. Do I want to? And one of those things that was too was climbing Duns River Falls. Oh, I love that. Climbing the Duns River Falls in Jamaica, I had a blast. And then I, I would do it again. By the time I got up on the top of the falls, I'm like, can we go again? But unfortunately, they wouldn't let me do that. Um, let's see here. Doug and Nikki saying we do have a video, but we expected something like a state fair, but it was wild camels running everywhere, kind of being beaten, not cool. Uh, Gets five stars on TripAdvisor somehow. That's why we tried it. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't like that either. No, uh, we are strongly against animal abuse. Yeah. So, no, I can imagine you didn't like that. I would that. have been horrified. Thanks yeah. for the warning. Yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Life is good today, saying that they've eaten the escargot and ox tongue on the ship. Now, see, the ox tongue, I might give you a shot. I would try that, too. Yeah. So out of those two, uh, Ronnie and Alma, which did you like? Malcolm, out of the ones he mentioned, he likes crocodile the most. That's something. Well, it all ends up back at food, doesn't it? <laughs> a lot of the time. Hey, good travelers are good foodies. It's as simple as that. Matt and Ariel are saying they are called Chapulines, crickets in Aztec language. No, oh, okay. So that is good information to have. Yeah, so it is more of an uh, Aztec treat then. So if than... you see it on a menu, you know what you're getting. Wow. Oh, look at Doug and Nick here. They're saying I ate a scorpion in China. No. Scorpion. What did that even taste like? I, I cannot imagine what, what I should expect when, when reading that someone ate scorpion. Was it crunchy? Is it crunchy? <laughs> is it more delicate? Yeah. Well, what is it like? See some meetings and greetings here. And then Pam and Rich are saying they sell cricket flour at our bulk food store near us. It is very high in protein. You know what? I have heard that a I've lot heard about. Bugs in yeah, general are high in protein. Exactly. Hey, look here. And then Malcolm, ding, 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 we get to add another one, recently in Hong Kong. So you're in Hong Kong? Nice, nice. So, um, Chacha Marie, what we're talking about here is some things you have done or eaten out of your comfort zone that you actually really ended up enjoying. So if you have had an experience like that, please do tell us. Christine is saying octopus that tasted like eraser. Christine, how do you know what eraser tastes like? Christine, why are you eating eraser? You need to talk. <laughs> I mean, that, that could be an issue. Pretty serious one. Chacha Marie is uh, Filipino. Nice to be in here. Hey, we're glad to have you in here. So Filipino in Hong Kong. Nice. I like that. Ronnie and Alma are saying, I didn't care for either. Alma kind of liked the ox tongue, but you could see the taste buds. Oh, Ew, I see. On yeah. the tongue, when you're eating it, you can see the taste I can see how that can oh, throw off a lot of people. Why, that's why I like taste you back. <laughs> You're tasting it while it's tasting you. I don't know. <laughs> that's funny. Bam and Rich are saying marinated ox tongue, then chopped taco truck near us sells them. Delicious. Oh, so you can actually get those at the taco truck. Wow. Doug and Nikki saying it was sea seasoned, tasted like Doritos, very crunchy, fried or roasted. Wow. Isn't it amazing how sometimes certain foods can really remind you of something you you you, you have already eaten? Nah, not for Chacha Marie. I never ate those. Nice. <laughs> Doc and Nikki saying we ended up really liking guinea pig in Peru. We weren't planning on that. See, I don't. Okay, I'm gonna ask you a question. Now, 
I have seen on a travel channel that somebody was eating a guinea pig on a stick. Now, there ain't no way in the world I can eat a guinea pig on a stick. But it was guinea pig meat made into a dish that... Like a stew? Like a stew or something. That I could probably... I, I would try it. But to eat like... And, and look at it and go, oh, that's a guinea pig. And go, no, I can't do that. But I don't think I could do that with like any whole animal. So tell me how that was. Was it on a stick or was it like the meat in an in like a stew or a saute or something like that. Yeah. Before I move on, just quickly, a big shout out to Two Peps TV who just joined us. Thank you very, so very much for joining us, Two Peps TV. Please tell us where you're from. And right now we are discussing if you have ever done anything out of your comfort zone while traveling, but something you really ended up liking. So please do tell us because this is an interactive live stream. You're part of the conversation. We don't just sit here and lecture people, not our style. So then moving on with the conversation here. Uh, let's see. Pamela Rich are saying beef heart with gravy. Okay. That's fine. I can see that being a good thing. Malcolm saying strangest thing on the menu, grilled hedgehog at a vegan restaurant in Hong Kong. Didn't eat it. So but you stay away from that, huh? Vegan? Yeah, I mean, hedgehog is, that, is an, animal an animal too. So how can that be vegan? Sunny side of coffee saying, I used to hate pickles with a passion, but now I can eat them on a burger. Hey, you've come a long way. You know, that reminds me of uh, some th a similar situation I have had with kale. Back in the day, let's just say kale came out way faster than it went in. <laughs> No, I did not do kale. And then I tasted it years and years later when Kimberly made it, the one that I'm like, ooh, this is really good. Like, what did you do to them? It's, it's a and lot you know of what? the time. I've it's, made it's, it a hundred different ways and he eats it no matter how I make it. So I don't know what the issue had been with the kale. A lot of the time, it, it, a lot depends on how it is prepared. Ronnie and Alma saying, I bet the ox tongue taco would be good. Yeah, I can see that. Doug and Nikki saying it was roasted on the plate, looked like a guinea pig, no wondering what it was. See, no. Yeah, Kimberly would not try that. I might give that a shot, depending a lot on what it looks like and what it smells like. Um, I tend to really trust my eyes and my nose when it comes to food. I'll be honest, I don't even really like chicken with the bones in it. I prefer to have like boneless chicken breast. So. Oh, I do chicken with bones. I know you do. So, I mean, if you get it off the bones and put it in, in, and put it in front of me, I'd probably eat it. <laughs> there you go. Daniel Field saying a guinea pig looks like a rabbit with short ears. Yes, and oh, I, I, I know what a guinea pig looks like. Yeah. I, and I would like, but no, I don't want to bite into a whole rabbit either. Yeah. Two Pepsi V says that they're from the Philippines. Nice. Welcome. Nice. So tell us, Two Peps TV, anything you've ever done while traveling out of your comfort zone that you really ended up liking? Christine, in the meantime, is saying, or what water the kale was washed in, washed in. Yeah, I never, you know what, that's a good point you're making here. I never even thought of that, but that might make a difference. If the kale uh, is washed in really, like, poor quality water, then, yeah, that can make a difference. Deb Wright saying here, how about prairie oysters? Those are balls. Yeah, I think they might be. Yeah, they are. I, I haven't eaten them. No, I haven't either. All right, Malcolm with another in between 17. score. 17 countries that have been represented in our live stream today. Hong Kong, Jamaica, Pakistan, Nigeria, Philippines, Singapore, Netherlands, Australia, Puerto Rico, Scotland, India, Zambia, Poland, Argentina, England, New Zealand, and the good old USA. Oh, I, I love that. The more the better. That is fantastic. Doug and Nikki are saying that they were shocked when they ate it. It was very, it was good, but I'm not cooking any at home. It was a vacation experiment. Yeah. I understand that. Well, you know, when you're on vacation, yeah, I can, I can see that you would eat, sort of try to things more than you would at home. Two Peps TV saying that they like everything except eating insects. Okay. okay. So Raphael saying. Asking Deb how her dog is doing. Yeah, please let us know. Please let us know. I think we're caught up in the chat. Oh, my God. Are we? All right. So then it, it might be time for another question, Kimberly. In the meantime, while you pick a question, I'm going to make a quick stop in the small room. I'll okay. be right back. Then I need glasses Get if I'm glasses. going to pick a question. 
Okay, let's take a look. It's in Neil handwriting. This ought to be fun. Um, oh, this is this this is kind of goes with what we were talking about. Best street food you've ever had while traveling. So it has to be street food. It has to be something you tried at a small kiosk or something like that. Oh, look, here's someone new. Hello, welcome. Um, let us know where you're from. And we're talking about food, so you should feel right at home. Again, best street food you've ever had while traveling. Oh, that was a quick response. Reindeer in Finland. Does it taste different from other kind of deer? I'm curious. Malcolm, you know what? what? I would appreciate it if you would email me. That way I can contact you, okay? I appreciate that. Fish tacos and Ensenada. That's best street food. That sounds good. I've had fish tacos. They're very good. And I've had them in Mexico. In fact, I've had them in Cozumel. Okay. Thank you, Malcolm. The best street for, for me is Puerto Rican empanadas. You should also try fish or... I have returned. What is that word? Bacalaitos. I think that's a, a type of fish. It's like uh, uh, bacalao. Um, I can't think of the English word, but I know what it is. It, it's a fish. Okay. So what did you pick? The street food one? Yeah. Nice. That's a nice question. Because we were talking, kind of talking about food anyway. Were you all caught up with the comments? Um, we said hello to this person. Oh, yes. our Just Kitchen. Nice. Yeah. Oh, hi, guys. Good to have you with us. And they're from Hong Kong as well. Are Sweet. They? Yeah, I that's asked what where I said. they were from. I yeah, right see. here. Right here. Oh, okay. Hey, you're more than welcome. Glad to have you here with us. Uh, let's see what else. The dog is doing good. Oh, okay, good, right. good, good. Two Peps TV loves to try foods that are neutral. Nice. How many more comments did you skip? A thousand and four. I didn't skip any comments. I don't know about that. All right. So let's have a look here. Dr. Nikki saying we live in outside of New York City. No one has better street food, but it, is, it isn't very authentic. Ah, I see. Probably a lot of hot dogs and stuff, I would imagine. Okay, what, what are comments you already had? I don't know. What did you go over? You, you should know what you went over. I have no idea. All right. Did you, t did you look at this one for Ronnie and Elma? No. Jerk chicken and lobster in Jamaica. Nice. And yes, jerk chicken in Jamaica is amazing. And uh, now that you mention it, the one all-inclusive resort where we stayed at, they had a little jerk chicken stand on the beach, and that was awesome. Very spicy, but very awesome. Deb Wright, yes, they are kin. I lived out in Alberta, and they cooked them over an open fire at branding time. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, yes, they are Kim. Yeah. That was an M. She can't type today either. Nobody can. Yeah, and the people seem to have trouble typing today, and that includes us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Two Peps TV says rat meat in a burger in Africa. Oh. I'm going to skip that, dear. Oh, boy. Wow. I'm surprised, but apparently there are areas of the country that do, yeah. that, that, that do that. Daniel Phil saying, hey, we have great fish from the fish market in Helsinki, Finland. Nice. So is Finland then very much a seafood country, Daniel? Uh, Christine saying, hey, I want to go to Mexico to get authentic guacamole. You know what I had in Mexico? Kimberly is all about guacamole. Yes, but you know what I had in Mexico that was really good, and I did end up making them at home? Um, it was avocado sliced, breaded, and fried. Yeah, who knew? And it gets all crispy on the outside and creamy and, and delicious on the Oh, my God, it's so good. You need to do that. It's so good. 
Nancy Fields saying, Kim, do you cook a lot? I've been cooking for Dan a lot since the COVID stuff. Yeah. She doesn't cook a whole lot, Nancy. Ow! You hit me. Yeah. While we were live. And I'm going to hit you harder. Why would you do that? I've been cooking every day. very nice. Day, but I do normally cook oh, a lot. Oh, she hurt me. Oh, please. What? I do cook a lot. Raphael saying, uh, coffee, the bacalao in Spain is marinated in salt. Is it the same way? Oh, okay. Yeah, that, I never thought of that. But of course, yeah, it might be prepared differently in different countries. Doug and Nikki asking, do lobster rolls in Maine count as street Oh, food? my God, aren't they good? Oh, my God, they're so good. The lobster rolls in Maine. Oh, my God. You just pressed a button for this one. No, I want a lobster roll. <laughs> well, then you got to go to Maine. Actually, there's a place around here that has them. I haven't gotten one yet. Oh, okay. Margaret is saying we got a 4.30 a.m. one time to visit the fish markets in London at Fresh Fish and Chips after the best freshest fish I've ever had. Oh, my word. That would be amazing. You know what? London is often portrayed as a, an area or England in general where the food is not good. And we have found that to we be love not it. true. We love the food in England. Can, definitely can complain. I kept trying all different kinds of meat pies. Particularly at the borough market. Yes. Oh. oh, my God. At the borough market, I had this meat pie. And, of course, it had meat in it. But there, and, and in the gravy, they had Stilton cheese. I see. I skipped that part. So it was brown gravy with the meat. It was like a beef. And then it had some, I think, potato. But it had the Stilton cheese in the gravy. Oh, my God. Yes. That's, that's just disgusting. I know, that me. was just all bad for you. In the meantime, Chacha Marie is leaving. Thank you so much for joining us today and hope to see you next time again. And at the same time, Abby has come back. Hey! Thank you so much for joining us, Abby. Please tell everyone here in the stream where you are from. We like to talk to everyone and we like to share travel experience. And right now we're talking about food, in particular the best street food you ever had while you were traveling. All right, Anne is saying, you know, I had lobster rolls in Key West, Florida, if that counts. Of yeah, course. of course it counts. Absolutely. Rafael claims that he makes the best guacamole, spoken like a true Spaniard. <laughs> I would like to try it. I'm sure you would, yeah. Yeah, Christine is with you on the avocado. Yeah, isn't it good? Hey, look who's here, social couplepreneur. Welcome Hello. in, guys. Big shout out to you. Glad to have you with us today. Please do tell everyone where you're from and if you had any really good street food while you were traveling. Oh, yeah, you did miss his reindeer. Yeah, we love each other. Uh, Malcolm saying, you missed my reindeer in Finland comment while you were in the little boys' room. Oh, okay. Yeah, does it taste different than other deer? Is that, that uh, Malcolm, does that taste kind of like venison? Or is it its whole own animal, literally and figuratively? Our Jeff's Kitchen saying, I love street fruits in the Philippines. The Balo, try it, guys. Tell us what that is. I I'm not sure what that is. Please give a little bit of a description. I'm curious. Rafael, wow, was that loud. Hashtag <laughs> I know, Rafael. She really hit me hard. She did. Uh, no, it was I need my support group. Oh, you hit me again. Where's Jay? I need Jay. I need my support Jay group. Jay doesn't have any power. What do you mean he doesn't have any power? It was a storm. He was getting thrown offline. I'm, but he managed to be in there. For a moment. I don't know if he's still here. I'm getting abused there. And where's my support group? I need my support group. Ronnie Elma saying, we had authentic guacamole and chili rellenos in Mexico, private oh. beach house. Ah, living the good life like that. I would probably check those chili rellenos out, but the guacamole, I'd leave to Kimberly. I don't know why you don't like guacamole. There's nothing I, about it you wouldn't like. I don't know. Just, I mean, I can tolerate it, but it isn't something I would actively seek out. Doug and Nikki saying, we're going in the new RV to Maine just for a lobster roll fest. Nice. This is perfect. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, my God. I want a lobster roll. Kimberly is all about that. I mean, she's the one to talk to for lobster rolls. Anthony Simone saying, DJ's Clam Shack is the best lobster rolls in Key West. Hey, thanks for mentioning that. Thank you. Abby saying, y'all ever tried Jamaican oh, food? Oh, yeah, we love yeah, Jamaican we have. Food. And we are wild about Jamaican chicken. And that's not the only thing we're wild about with Jamaican food. That's Actually, the food is my favorite thing about Jamaica. Probably, yeah. I mean, I just 
ate my way twice when I was in Jamaica, the all-inclusive resort last yeah. year. I mean, that was so good. You guys do something with the spices out there. They're just that amazing. Just out of this world. And you just keep eating. Deb is saying, I have an excuse with not being able to see. Yes, you would, Deb. Yes, you would. Rafael saying, we'll talk about fresh is drinking Budweiser at the St. Louis factory. I would imagine that is fresh. Surprisingly, I found the uh, aluminum bottles from Budweiser to be pretty good. Uh, Maybe Ronnie and Elma have something to say about that. They, they, they like their drinks. Ronnie and Elma, please let us know. What do you think of Budweiser? Nancy is saying, I love a good child. Uh, chili relleno, but do not eat often because really fattening. Ah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, there are just some foods that are really good, but you really have to watch. Abby is from Jamaica. I thought you were. That is awesome. We had several people from Jamaica then today in our stream. That's we great. We have several several people from Jamaica in our in our family, and we're so glad. We're so glad to have you. Margaret is saying, Kim, we need to food travel together. Neil just doesn't get it. Hey. I do get it. It's yeah, different. we definitely want to travel with you, Margaret. And she's saying still the meat pies are the best. Well, yeah, then that, that that's all you. Uh, let's see here. Malcolm is saying about the reindeer that it is indeed like venison, just a little more chewy. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Nancy feels uh correct chili not I, child. Yeah, yeah. I, I figured as much uh, there I, there is some type of um unable to type epidemic yeah, yeah, going yeah. around today yeah matt and ariel dear friends we have to go and it was a pleasure to be present today and enjoy all the experiences told see you next time and have a nice week to all hey guys thank you so much for joining us today really enjoyed your company yes and please do come back for our next live stream i mean it was really great to have you guys here so you and two enjoy the rest of your week Abby is saying she's never been out of Jamaica. That's okay. What, Jamaica's what? wonderful. Absolutely. In Jamaica, what is your favorite spot? I'm very curious to hear this from someone who is Jamaican. Actually, what I would like to know, dear, is if we were coming to Jamaica, what food should we try that people might not think to try? Yes, please let us know. Uh, let's see here. I just get It's a kind say, of an egg. Oh, okay. Hey, look who's here, Omar Abuda. Hello, hey, big shout out to you. I think this might be your first time in our live stream. So please tell us and everyone else where you are from and if you ever had any delicious street food that made an impression on you because that's what we're talking about right now. Nancy Fields is saying, life is good. Uh, me too, or just do not overheat, overeat fatty foods often. Yeah, exactly. I was good today, but was saying, yeah, they're good usually on a diet. Ah, okay, I see. Uh, let's have a look. Down under cruise is saying, Neil, are you feeling sick? How can you not like guacamole? Oh my gosh. Yes, I love it. Hey, there are just some things I don't like. Malcolm saying, I can't imagine not traveling. Yeah, that makes two of us, Malcolm. I've been traveling ever since I was a little boy. I don't know any better, and I've lost count as to the amount of airplanes I've been on. And Handley saying, DJ's Clam Shack Inky West is where I got my lobster rolls. But, hey, that was mentioned by yeah. Anthony just a little while back. If you say you're a part of Alita Loca, you can get a discount. Oh. That's interesting. Wow. That's nice. Doug and Nikki saying, love but, but the aluminum bottles feel creepy. Prefer the gold old glass. All right. All right. Omar Rebuda, let's connect, my friends. Hey, sure, absolutely. Feel free to network. Just do not use the S word, and we don't want to see any numbers in our chat. Nope. So you can say, uh, can we be friends? Let's dance. Uh, drop off a cow at your farm. Uh, anything creative you can come up with that makes it all the more fun. But we do not use the S words here, and our moderators have been instructed to remove any S words used. Uh, Omar Abuda, by the way, tell us please where you're from. We would really like to know. Nancy Field saying here for dinner, we are having a baked potato with chicken dumpling soup on top of salad. Oh, look at you go. Nice. Ronnie and Omar saying, not a big Budweiser fan, but will drink an ice cold Bud Light on occasion. See, okay. the thing is, we're not big Budweiser fans either, but when we were on the um, 
MSC Davina the first time. Or was it? Yeah, that's where we were. Yeah, and I think it they was. had only two beers included in the package, and one of them was the Budweiser. And what was the other one? Oh, it was the Heineken. Yeah. <laughs> it, okay, maybe another weird thing about me. I was born a Dutchman, and I really don't care for Heineken. Well, anyways, um, so we ended up drinking Budweiser at the um, pool, and it was, and it, for some reason, it was very good at the pool. Now, I don't mind the Heineken, and, the, and in fact, the last cruise we went on with MSC, they just have the Heineken as the beer that's included now. Unfortunately. Abby does seem that, that she really wants to travel, though. Hey, we really hope you get to sometime. It's really amazing. And, and please do tell us. But you know what? This is a way of traveling, too. Meeting people from all over the world in a chat like this is a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, for sure. Abby, if there's any spot in particular in Jamaica that you really love, please tell us. Uh, down on the cruise saying, Neil doesn't get it because he can't cook. Hashtag teach Neil to cook. No, hashtag don't teach Neil how to cook. Hashtag Neil only eats. That, that, that's, that's more my game. Rafael doing some networking here. Abby then saying, curry crab, it is so good. And I know people don't think to try that. Thank you. Hey, that's a great suggestion you're making there, Abby. Thank you so much. Daniel Field saying, I don't like guacamole on a sandwich. It makes it slide all over. Otherwise, it's great. <laughs> I can understand that. Nice. Omar Buddha saying that he's from the Philippines. Nice. A lot of Philippines in here today. That's wonderful. Awesome. So tell us, uh, Omar, is there any street food that you're really fond of in the Philippines that you would recommend to everyone to try out if we ever travel there? Margaret, hashtag avocado life. If I ever let us run out of avocados, I would have a mutiny in my house. <laughs> oh, my. That, that sounds pretty serious there, Margaret. Malcolm then saying, tried years ago to count my flights. Too many. Now try to count aircraft types and country visited. We, we've gotten Good to deal. just countries. Yeah. Yeah. I lost count on the flights too, Malcolm. And saying, that's because Tony has been to um, the, oh, that is that uh, the seafood yeah. place in Key West. He has there, been there a few times. He still hasn't gotten a lobster roll. Once it was closed, once he forgot his wallet. Oh, gee. Oh, gee. Yeah, it happens. Uh, let's see here. Doc and Nikki want to have dinner with Nancy Fields. Fisher Fun Ventures. Where are Fishers they? Fishers are here. Hi. Yeah, there you go. There they're here. Yeah, they're are here you before. still here or did you just stop in? <laughs> they, they were here before. I thought they were. Yeah. yeah. So welcome back if you just came back. and Not a beer guy. Not a beer. Just give me a drink with an umbrella in it. I'm good. Okay, sure. I did those too. I, you know what? I like my pina coladas. I really like dirty bananas. I don't know. I do like my beer, though. I do like dirty bananas. That's good. Oh, that's really good. Um, yeah. I would say that's probably on Carnival Cruises. The dirty, dirty bananas are my favorite drink. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I do like, but I, do, I am a beer drinker. I really am. Um, I tend to like to pair different beers with different meals. Yeah. I drink, Oh, me too. Yeah. To be perfectly fair, I drink way more beer than wine. Same here, but I do appreciate a really good glass of wine, though. Yeah, but I do. If I'm going to pick, I'm going to tend to reach for a beer over a glass of wine. Probably on a normal day, yeah. Doug and Nikki is saying, your butt is great on a hot day to barbecue with burgers and franks. That's the perfect niche. Ah, yeah, yeah there you good. go. I can see that. Malcolm saying, Budweiser and Heineken beers are made for the masses. Yeah, exactly. Um... Pam and Rich are saying to Anne Handley that they remember uh, that but discount. Yeah, there you know. go. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Abby is responding to our question if there's any place in Jamaica she particularly likes. And she says in the grill. I've heard that it's particularly beautiful there. That is not one area that I've been to yet. But actually, what we've talked about is the next time that we do travel to Jamaica, because there will be a next time. Um, We've talked about doing maybe 14 days in Jamaica. Yeah. And doing... Um, we're just in love with Jamaica. We love Jamaica. And doing um, different all-inclusives in different areas. And maybe do like... A um, few days here, a few days there. Yeah, like four, 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 you know, maybe do 16 days, you know, four different resorts, four days each, something like that. 
Yeah. And Negro would definitely be a, an area that we want to go to. Sure. Hey, look who's here. DNG Explorers in the Hello, house. Welcome. welcome you guys. Good to see you. Yeah, fantastic to have you with us. We're talking about street food. Yes, exactly. And for those of you not yet familiar with DNG Explorers, wonderful channel. They love cruising. They're big Disney fans. They do a lot of Disney trips. And they make some really good and loyal friends to make friends with. Hint, hint, hint. Yes. Let's see here. 43 countries. What do you mean, wow. 43 countries you've been to? Yeah. Wow, that, that's amazing. You're today. I like that. Mm -hmm. All right, so moving down the comments here. Abby's saying here, if you guys are thinking of coming to Jamaica, and the grill is the best place to come and enjoy a vacation. The beach is great. The sun is... Uh, trust me, trust me, I'm thinking wonderful, she means. Yeah. Trust me, the grill is the best place to stay. All right, we'll keep that in mind. Thank you so much for that advice. That's very useful advice there. Hey, look who's in here, Chris No Lodor. Nice. Welcome in, Chris No. Please tell everyone where you are from. And right now we are talking about street food. If there's any street food in particular you had that really stood out to you, please do let us know. Uh, let's see here, giving a thumbs up. Oh, yeah, that's right. Thank Almost you. Almost forgot to <laughs> mention that once again. If you haven't given us, your host, a thumbs up yet, it uh, would be a great time to do so. We always appreciate it. And if you haven't smashed our red button, please do so. Please do so. Stay, that way you stay updated of our latest videos and upcoming live streams because we do them regularly. And our next video is going to be about Munich. You have to spoil that. We talked about it. We well, we didn't say it's going to be about that. It is. Kimberly, you're such a pain. <laughs> you had to do that. Everybody knew. We already said it. First you beat me, then you spoil our next video. You're, it's you're not. in a rare form Everybody today. knew. You're in rare form today. Doc and Nikki saying that the, that the favorite summer is Pennsylvania beer is Rolling Rock. Yes, that's Coast our beer. house beer here. If you would ever visit our house, and odds are you get a Rolling Rock. Funny thing is, is years ago it became very popular in France, Rolling Rock. Yeah, you told me that. That's funny. Malcolm saying, just thought back to something you've done out of our comfort zone. Got to a pilot, a Cessna 172. Oh, wow. You wow, actually that's conducted cool. the plane. That is nice, Malcolm. A friend of mine did that. Nice. You know what? Part of me would like to try that someday. Christine saying, allergic to beer and wine, but I love sparkling water with fruit. Okay. It's always very good. Hey, why not? Nothing wrong with that. I see some meetings and greetings being exchanged. Um, let me see. Did Chris know Lodor say where he is from? I don't think quite yet. No, not quite yet. Yeah, please let us know. Yep. Chris now, Ludor, please let us know where you're from because we like to keep track of where people are from. Uh, Malcolm asking here, what country have people been to that they would be the, the only one on chat to have visited? Yeah, that's a great one, Malcolm. Nice, nice. If you think you've been to somewhere really unique that you're the only one here that has been there, Please tell us the country. Yeah, thanks for that suggestion, Malcolm. We are going to take you up on that, actually. Hey, look, and we get to add another country, Malcolm. Chris now is from Haiti, but in Brazil now. So we have to count it as Brazil. But that is fantastic. Awesome. Let's see here. Abby then uh, having a little conversation with Ronnie and Alma here. That's great. Just fishing the grill, too. Trust me, you would enjoy the vacation. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, we are convinced in the grill it should be. Abby also saying, do you guys ever been on a cruise tour before in Jamaica? Yes. We've been um, on a cruise once and on an all-inclusive once. Yeah. I've and we loved twice. both times. Doug and Nikki, wait a minute. Before I move on, I want to point something out. Uh, and to everyone, this is quite a historical moment we are approaching here. Can you think of what it would be? Most countries in our chat. Not, you know, uh, maybe, but no. Look at the timer. This is going to be the first time ever that two travel and tour will have a live stream lasting over three hours. Oh my God. Yes. And look how many people are still here. 27 people in the chat. That's incredible. 
You know what? It seemed like we started picking up momentum the later it got. I'm telling you, I think people are back at work. Yeah, we need to reevaluate our times here. But we'll discuss that later on. I want to look at the comments here. Doc and Nikki think that they have been to Jordan and that very few others in here have been there. That is so high on my list. Yes. And you know what? It is our understanding that Jordan has far more to offer than just Petra. So we would definitely like to uh, explore that. So if you see a country that's being mentioned that you have been to as well, then let do us let know. us know. Malcolm doesn't think that many people have been to the Cook Islands. No, not us for sure. Christine says Haiti. Doesn't think that many people have been to Haiti. I know there is one in here. Uh, there's someone in there from Haiti originally. So but, they were there. <laughs> yeah. Well, obviously, Kimberly. Let's see here. And there it is. Three hours. All right. First time in history of two travel and tour that we have cracked three hours for our live stream. That is fantastic. Thank you so much to all of you for being with us here for that moment. That is amazing. I, I can't believe it, how fast time flew by. I know. That is awesome. Daniel Phil saying it feels like only an hour and a half. Yeah, I know. That's just <laughs> nuts. Here, and look, Runaway our Fiendness has just stopped in. Hey, guys. Hi. How are you doing? Glad to have Good you with us again ya. today. So um, what we are discussing here, guys, is... Many things. Well, well, yeah, but the one thing in particular we're talking about here is have you ever been to a country you don't think many other people in our live stream here have been to? If so, please let us know in, in a comment here. Margaret is saying Liechtenstein, tiny country of about 40,000 people between Austria and Switzerland. Not exotic, but I don't think a lot of people visit it. You are correct. I am very well aware of Liechtenstein's ex existence, but it is truly we, one country I've not been to yet. We were almost there, though. We were talking about taking a trip over to Moise so we could drive through it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> but it, it is one of those very tiny states. Yeah. Doug and Nikki saying, Nikki did a surprise pit stop at Jordan for me on our way to Egypt. Oh, you've been to Egypt. Oh. Yeah, we were talking. They were talking about Egypt before. Yes, but I keep not being able to get over that. I want to go there. Okay. Does Lavani count as being to Haiti? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Because if you haven't set foot there, then where did you set foot? Yeah. Runaway Arvina is saying a good friend of mine is from Jordan and lives in Texas right now. Okay, nice. Daniel Fields, three, 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 <laughs> a lot of threes. For three hours. Three, yes, yeah. that's right. Yeah, hitting that three hour mark. That That's incredible. And Anley, shall we go for four hours? Oh my, <laughs> that'd be something. <laughs> At some point, we oh, got to pick boy. up Allison from work. Yeah, that's right. Oh, so that is what I was <laughs> You know, I was thinking about there was something around 8 o'clock, and I was I couldn't think of what it was. So thanks for mentioning that. Yeah, that's that. my daughter. We'll just leave her at work. It'll be fine. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, look at here. Doug and Nikki showing off. Two more to stun you guys. Taiwan and South Korea. Those are two countries in Asia I really, really would be interested in visiting. I have actually watched several videos on Taiwan and South Korea I like, probably more so on Taiwan. And they both look like very, very well worth the effort to have a look at someday. Let's see. Life Adventure Show in the house. Hey, welcome, welcome in, guys. Good to welcome see in. Great seeing you. So, uh, what we are discussing here is if there are any countries you have been to that you don't think that many other people have been to. So do let us know, please. Daniel feels saying, like, not a country, but North Dakota. You know what, Daniel? That's you might great. be you might be <laughs> on yeah, the spot. Sure, that's great. I love it. <laughs> you might be on the spot about that one because I, I've not been to North Dakota. <laughs> Very few people have, I think. Although maybe Ohio! With, you know yeah. what though? <laughs> you know what though? Maybe within the RV community. Yeah. They might have been to North Dakota, but I bet you there are some people from within the RV community that are among us today that might have stopped there. Arge of Kitchen saying, to travel and tour and all of you here, visit my live stream again, 9 p.m. Hong Kong time. All right. Thank you very much for that invite. Uh, Rafael saying, Andorra, pass through and on the way to France. And I know Neil has been there. Yes, I have. 
And Andorra is truly a wonderful place to go. I've never been there. I've never been there because Neil doesn't it, take me anywhere. Andorra is jaw-dropping gorgeous. Every bit as gorgeous as it is tiny. You don't take me anywhere. You know, you're lucky I don't hit women. <laughs> I don't take you anywhere. You have done most of your traveling with me. If yes. it wasn't for me, you probably still wouldn't be traveling. I did travel before you. Yeah, not very often. No. And nowhere near as often as you no. do now, for sure. No, definitely not. Live Adventure Show is showing interest in Andorra here. Yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah, you should go, for sure. Doug and Nikki saying, we are picking up our first RV Saturday. Can wait. Yes. Runaway RV Nesters is mentioning Okinawa, but most people that go there are military. I love this place. Yeah. Okinawa, that's Japan, isn't it? I think so. I would really like to go to Japan. That's another country in Asia I would be very interested in visiting. Chris no Ludor thinking. Doug and Nikki, we did a China cruise which stopped in Japan, Taiwan, South Korea, and Hong Kong. It was a great Hong Kong was a great trip. Yeah, oh I can imagine. So was there anything during that cruise that really stood out to you, Doug and Nikki? Let's see. Uh, I see some meetings and greetings. Malcolm Hogan saying 28 on and 66 likes. Holy moly. We are doing good today. Hey, look who's here. Beauty Licious Kitchen. Welcome in. Welcome in. Please tell everyone where you are from. Um, I don't recall seeing you in our live streams, Bigor. Please forgive me if you have attended, though. I try to remember everyone. But we're not always successful. We're not always successful. So please tell everyone where you're from and um, do participate in what we're discussing here. Uh, we're discussing countries where you have been to or places you have been to that you don't think many others have been to. Our Jeff's Kitchen saying, guys, I'm about to start my work. I enjoyed watching you guys until next live stream. Do the five. Hey, thanks so much for stopping by. We really appreciate it. Very much enjoyed your company and hopefully until next time. I'm sure we'll see you around. Let's see, Christine saying, my great, great, great grandparents were from Berlin and Amsterdam. I'd love to see those cities. Well, both, of which, both of which I'm quite familiar with, particularly Amsterdam. But <laughs> Berlin has a lot, a lot to offer as well. And, and please, if you are going to Berlin, take a lot of time to visit because there is a lot to see there. Malcolm Hogan showing off with Luxembourg. He has been to Luxembourg. Anyone else been to Luxembourg? I have. I drove through there on our way to France at some point. I think that was during a skiing trip I did. Let's see here. Life Adventure Show. Bahamas. Is it other than the States? It's other than States. Okay. I've been to the Bahamas. but I, I think, well, we got several cruises here. So I think a good many of them have been. Uh, let's have a look here. Runaway RV nesters does confirm that Okinawa is worth the effort to visit. It is. Yes, it is. It's in Japan. Doc and Nikki saying, interesting, Japan in a nuclear museum at Ground Zero for the bomb have completely rewritten the history of World War II. A little scary and weird to see. Oh, I can imagine. Ooh. That must be like visiting a concentration camp, which I actually did as well years ago near Berlin. It was called Oranienburg. It is... Uh, it, it, it's a side you will never forget. If you've been there, you can't erase it from your memory because, well, many horrible things that I don't like to elaborate on much further have been taking place there back in the day. Chris no Ludor, yes, by all means, do connect. You're free to connect with anyone. Uh, just do not use the S word, just a kind reminder, uh, and you're good to go. You can say friends, you can say dance, you can say drop cows off at your farm. We don't care how you say it. The funnier, the better. But uh, no S word and no numbers. If you feel the need to use numbers, just spell them out, please. Sunny side of coffee saying, I will really love to visit New Greenland one day. Yes. Everybody wants to go to Nuke. Okay. Yes, absolutely. It's so funny. We have been talking about this before with some of our other new people. Um, but there is a princess cruise that does three stops in Greenland. That's some new information for everybody. I want to try that. I really do. I think that would be absolutely amazing. Runaway RV Nest is saying that they hate to rush when visiting a new place, especially a foreign country. I agree with you 100%. They like to spend the extra time yeah. too. I mean, uh, if you're going somewhere, you always need to make sure you have the time to do some thorough exploring. Otherwise, why, why else do you travel? I mean, Malcolm Hogan showing off with another one. Macau, anyone? 
Uh, not us. I'm not even sure what it is. Do you? I, I think it's in the Pacific somewhere, but I might be wrong. And the Pacific is very big, so that doesn't mean a whole lot. But yeah, absolutely. So anyone been to Macau? Do let us know. Do let us know if anyone has been to Macau. A uh, lot of silence. <laughs> Sunny side of coffee. Mm, awesome. Do you know where the cruise departs from? Um, I think it starts in Canada. If you are in, that's I'm going to say, if you're interested in booking any kinds of travel, let me know. I can help you yeah, with that. Yeah, Kimberly can help you with any kind of travel you want to do. Malcolm was saying near Hong Kong. Okay, so it's kind of like in that direction then, in the Pacific. Yeah, I kind of figured it had to be in the general vicinity there. Sounds foreign to me. <laughs> Doc and Nikki, here's a subject we are considering Iceland and a first foreign trip to get back to travel close to no go over there. We only That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. To keep countries in mind that haven't been hit as hard. That's actually really smart. I like that. Sounds foreign to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rafael, Gibraltar or Canary Islands? Canary Islands, yep, been there. Wonderful, by the way. I love going there. I would like to go to Iceland too, though. Yeah, we've only been through the airport. Yeah, the, uh, during a layover. That was when, um, what were wow. they called again? Wow Airlines was still flying from Pittsburgh uh, to Europe through Reykjavik, Iceland. So, they were okay. It was all purple. Yeah, a lot of purple for sure. Malcolm saying Iceland is well worth a visit, winter or summer. Yeah, I, I can imagine. Both have their advantages for sure. So, all right, let's see here. Gee, well over three hours to be there. Yeah. You have to start wrapping it up, though, but I really am considering throwing in more Fridays, Friday nights. Do you want to do all Fridays? What do you guys think? Do you think we should do one every Friday night at 11.45, or do you think every other week is good? Yeah, the Night Owl edition. It did seem to be quite popular when Tell we did it. Tell us what you want. Yeah. yeah. Daniel Field saying we're about to book a 2022 Iceland, Norway, England, and Scotland cruise. Oh, Wonderful. you're on to something there, Daniel. That sounds amazing. I would love to do that. Seeing all those castles and ruins in Scotland and all of the nature miracles that Iceland has, so not to mention Norway. That whole cruise just sounds good to me. You cannot <laughs> stay up that late. She asked people are going to say yes. You think? I don't know, Rafael. Anthony Simone is voting for every Friday. Malcolm is also in favor of Friday, your time, Saturday afternoon here, yeah? Well, Christine, it would be in addition to the yeah, Wednesdays. Yeah, we're not going to give up the Wednesdays. No. Because these Wednesdays are still very popular. Hey, look, there's Nancy. Hey, Hi. welcome in. Good to see you. And greeting us in Dutch, saying good evening. Fantastic to have you with us, Nancy. Um, as you can see, we are still here, surprisingly. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we're having a great time here. Right now we're discussing some places where um, people think that many others have not been to yet. So if you have been to a place that you don't think many people have to yet, mention that place, please. And for those of you not yet acquainted with our nautical nurse, Nancy, please She's fantastic. do. She has the nicest personality, super friendly, wonderful person to be around, and loves cruising. So you definitely want to check her out. Uh, Daniel Field saying that late Friday in the Pacific time zone is great. Yeah, I, I was thinking for a Pacific time zone, that would be nice. Runaway RV nesters, that kind of fast-paced lives are going to wear you all out. I know. Yeah, it's, I will say, it's, it's, but at the same time, time flies. And you know it's what? weird. We love talking to y'all. We love interacting with everybody. The, here's, here's the truth of the it matter. It is really the highlight of our week. Yeah, the truth of the matter is we are enjoying this. This is our downtime. We, we like it. So it doesn't take a whole lot of effort, really, to just be talking to you guys. It, we do. We love it. Hey, rather late than never, Nancy. No, no worries. But what's for dinner, by the way? Tell yeah, us. send me some food. 
Let's see. Anne is saying, can't say up that late on Friday, usually at least till February when I retire, but they will watch afterwards. Oh, you're well, retiring on February. Well, Anne will love to have, see you on Wednesdays. Yeah. You we'll, know that. We'll keep the Wednesdays. We're just going to keep those. Uh, let's see here. Nancy is pitching into what we're discussing here. She doesn't think that many people have been to Rwanda and Southern Chile. And Southern Chile. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And Southern Chile. Yeah, you might be right on that. So everyone, has any of you been to Rwanda or Southern Chile? Nancy has been there, but yeah, I, I think that might be a good guess. I don't think a lot of people have been there. We for sure haven't. And you're saying it's the highlight of my week too. Hey, oh, we're thrilled to we hear that. You. Thank you. Thank you. Nancy is saying we're having turkey burgers and fried onions turning out well. When are you making turkey burgers? You know what I do with my turkey burgers? I do mine a little different. I use the ground turkey. I put onion soup mix in them. And, of course, I put the breadcrumbs and the eggs. And then I cook them up in a skillet, but I coat them in barbecue sauce. Oh, they are so good. And they then, are so good. And then I put them on a bun and with a slice of pineapple on top. Oh, okay. I want turkey burgers. When are you making it? Not now. But I, I'm going to get hungry. I'm already hungry. <laughs> Malcolm saying here, it's gone from breakfast time to nearly lunch time on the chat. <laughs> oh, no. It's crazy. Runaway Arvina says, no, I lead a sheltered life. Okay. All right. Hey. I don't know what they were talking about to who. Maybe they're uh, talking back and forth with someone. They might be. Yeah, please update us a little <laughs> bit there. We might have lost track a little bit. Nancy is saying, onion soup mix is so good. I use that on pot roast. Yes. And you know what else it's good on? It's good on potatoes that you roast in the oven. Oh, I yes. put actually yes, what absolutely. I, I mix, I mix onion soup mix and olive oil. And then I coat the potatoes with it. Oh, that is so good. So good. And then she's saying, I cannot have this on my low carb diet. Can I add salsa and fry them in the pan? They are good. Nice. All right, let's see here. What else is going on? I think it's about that time. We're going to have to be wrapping it up in here because I have to get going. Anthony Simone is saying that he loves pot roast. Pot yes. roast is always good. Runaway Arvina says, chatting makes you hungry. I was talking about the one and seven chili. I type slow. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, hey, nothing wrong with that. that. That's all right. Let's see here. Uh... Sunny side of coffee saying, good thing that I just ate a spaghetti meatballs meal. If not, I would have been hungry right now. Yeah, talking about food makes you well, hungry. You know what? We always say it. travel and food go together. They do. And They're like a married couple. Yes, and food is such a big part of exploring culture. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it says, I mean, what's available to different cultures, different spices that are used, different traditions. Um, before I traveled, um, before I started, that became such a big part of my life, I would cook. And I would pick different recipes, and I would have theme night dinners for my family. They all thought I was crazy. And I would cook dip from different regions of the world. And um, I did Jamaican night one time. I did Russian dinners. I've done all yes. the different things. Yes. And just kind of exploring culture that way before I could travel. So what are you making tonight? How does sheet sound? We had that just the other day. That sounds good. Oh, gee. Nancy's saying here, throw, excuse me, the potatoes with olive oil and seasoning, salt, roast them along and heat, high heat in the oven. Okay, yeah. that sounds good. Daniel Fields cooking dinner too. So what is for dinner at the Fields residence? Yes. Malcolm saying fish and chips for lunch today being Thursday. Nice. Okay. I love fish and chips. If, if they're good fish and chips, there's nothing wrong with that for sure. Nancy saying, pot roast is so easy. Love that meal. Yeah, it is. Well, you you would know that better. You know what? Me. My son Jake makes the um, makes pot roast in the Instapot, and that's really good. Sunny side of coffee saying, those are probably the two things that gets me excited about most about life. Food and travel. Yeah. Me too. We're with you on that one. Anne is liking your turkey burgers. <laughs> Runaway or Venus is making a perfectly valid comment here. Yes, I'm with you on that one. Nothing like leftovers. All right. I think it, the time has come for us to start wrapping it up. Yeah. 
I mean, we had a blast today with you guys. Went well past three hours, which is way longer than our old record, which is, I think, about two hours and 45 minutes. Maybe a little bit longer than that, but not much. So thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Really enjoyed all of your company. Yes, definitely. I mean, it, it means a lot to us that you guys want to spend that time with us. That, that's really amazing. Very much. We're, we're so grateful to all of you. Yes. And we, we just love talking to everybody. Absolutely. Yeah. Nancy's saying uh, three hours notable last stream. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Malcolm, good fun again. Thanks, Neil and Kim. Hey, as always, our Minister of Demographics, thank you so much. What was the final score again? One more time. Throw One it more in. Time. How many Let countries do we have? Anthony Simone asking, are we going live this Friday? Are we? We'll, we'll, we'll think about it, I'm sure. Yeah, we'll think about it. We're, we'll see how we feel because we're back to work as well. So. so keep in mind, too, when we do a live stream on a Friday. Yeah. We will have worked a full day at work. We'll come home, eat, and do the live stream to the middle of the night. Yeah, pretty much. That is what it would be like then. But we're definitely going to think about it. Nancy saying, thanks for going along so I could catch you. Hey, <laughs> you're welcome, Nancy. Hey, we're happy you stopped by. That's awesome. Doc and Nikki saying, you guys did a great time. See you next time. Yes, thank you so much. Oh, and again, before we go, anybody who is interested in traveling with us, please do let us know on our community page yeah that way i can invite you to the two traveling tour trips yes exactly live adventure show thanks so much for stopping by again guys really appreciate you keep coming to us daniel fields as always thank you so much for joining us oh we love having you here yeah for sure and him and nancy as well yes you will need a lot of coffee, yeah, probably. I wish you all lived closer. Nancy could give me a haircut. Sunny side of coffee saying thank you guys for bringing us together in the chat. Mel you're welcome. Malcolm, 18 countries we hit today. All right, fantastic. That's a good score. Malcolm saying going to add up all the countries I've recorded over the last few chats. Oh, I'm curious. Minister of Demographics. Rafael sneering. Typical Dutch stopping short of four hours. Not good. <laughs> You know what, you crazy Spaniard? You just wait. You just wait. I'm so glad you and you, you and Raphael found each other. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. He, he, he kind of seems like a brother to me in a way. Uh, Pam and Rich saying, great live show. Hey, thanks so much. Always a pleasure to have you. Well, it feels like you've always joined us, but you've only been here like a couple, couple times. times. And when you get your T-shirt, make sure you take a picture. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And post it in the community. Absolutely. Yeah. So one oh, more. That's another thing. Anybody remember that we do have the two traveling tour um, shop available to you as well. Yep. If you're interested in any of the nice things that yeah, we have. Just have a look around. Have you can around. find it on the main page of our channel. It says uh, on the right top corner to travel and tour shop. Just click on there. Have a look around if you're interested, of course. Uh, anything else? Oh, yeah. If you haven't smashed our thumbs up yet. Please do, like please that. do. Yeah, it's good. If you have not connected <laughs> with us yet, please do so with the notification bell on so you stay updated of the latest developments. Yes. <laughs> so until next time, I'm Neil. And I'm Kimberly. And this is Two Chaplain Tour TV. TV. Bye. Bye. <laughs>